I'm not hungry, like that salad really filled me up. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. What is today? The third? Yes. Happy June 3rd, everyone. Happy birthday to everybody who's celebrating today. There was actually a super chat in the chat. Whimsical Mimsy. I stayed up till 2 30 a.m. in Hawaii just to send hugs on my birthday. Woohoo! I love you guys, and we love you too. A very, very happy birthday shout out to you. Harlow is being a very, very naughty, naughty puppy, okay? He's torturing my kitties, so uh, we're going to have to figure that out because these poor cats go around all day long, constantly jumping up on the counters and the tables just to get the dog to leave them alone, but don't worry, we'll figure it out. She-Ra, Carolyn's Mentality, Plantine, Sweetie, Michelle, Plummy, Deviant, Chantel's French Lover's Restraining Order, Mick, hello, Sham. Love you so much. Bent Not Broken, BB Cakes, L, Discard of Roses, Contel Marie, Kroger Brand Cheese, Titney, Anna. You know what? Speaking of the Kroger Brand Cheese, where has Life by Jen been? Hmm? Is there been any updates on the Instagram? Yes, Harlow's the girl. Did I call her a boy? I, <laughs> I always call Harlow a boy. I refer to Harlow as a he and the cats as, I guess, a she. I don't know. One day I'll get my shit figured out. Hey, Cook, don't fence me in. Max, stop! Hold, please. I gotta. My cat's tearing up my stuff. Hold on. Sorry about that. Hey, Hannah, Stella, Jennifer, Nikki, JJ, BB Cakes. Uh, let's see. Any updates on Jen? Nothing on the Instagram either? You call your son's best friend's dog a girl? <laughs> I mean, does it really matter at the end of the day? No, it doesn't. She's been real quiet. Anyone have any updates on her ridiculous ass Amazon wish list? Mm-mm-mm. Yes, yes, I'm muted. Sorry about that. She's been missing. I've been digging the Jen reacts. Yeah, same dude. Hey, Sam, you're have to come down here and get your dog, okay? <laughs> hey, Ms. Heather, Theo. I've been out with a double ear infection, lost hearing in my ears, but still trying to tune in. Oh, my gosh, Theo. Well, our thoughts and prayers are wish with you. My son was complaining last night with the earache, and I'm hoping that he's better today. Hey, queen. And you know what? you got to be careful, especially. I know I'm not saying this has to do with you, but in the summertime, if your kid starts to complain of an earache and they've been in the pool recently, it's very, very possible they get swimmers there. I used to get swimmers there all the time when I was little. Very, very painful. It's my birthday today. Happy Friday. Love you, support group. Vampire Princess, thank you for being a member for four months. And a very, very, very happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey, Tara. New horror. Hello, Ida. Always almost call Harlow Asher when she's good, when she's being bad. Yeah, you still do that. Hey, babe, tell the people hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Ooh, you smell good. Mmm, going through a really tough time. Positive vibe, please. Miss Nicole, we're very sorry to hear that. And thank you for being here. Hang in there. Hopefully, we can make you laugh today because Chantel, if she did anything, she definitely put on a show yesterday. Would you agree, babe? Yeah, she did. From, for how many hours? Did you count them up? 
No, I didn't count them, but it was a long time. It was all day. It was almost six. In that chair. No, well, no, not to be fair. The first three were in her car, right? Oh, yeah, that's Or true. the first two or whatever. So yesterday, we're not going to waste a whole lot of time, guys, because there's a lot to cover. Hey, Beezer Beauty. Um, yesterday. Uh-oh. What's that noise? It sounded like we didn't. Oh, it sounded like air coming out of somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yesterday. She was the very first thing she did when she went live. So we don't know what she ate before mm -hmm. she was in her car. Right. And the odds of Chantel eating something before she was in her car are what? They're very high. Yeah. Yeah. So we know she did. But anyway, so when she was in her car, she hit up, was it uh, the BK first? No, Starbucks first. BK and then Dairy Queen? No. Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh -huh. Shit, shit. Taco you know Bell, what? Burger what? King. Dairy Queen, and I'm pretty sure I've seen Starbucks. Wait a minute. While you're here, before you take off, let's look at it. Because somebody was, uh, <laughs> they put it on the farm. Oh, here it is. Blood burn. Thank you so much for this information. Here we go. Wait, From, wait. Let me read it. Let me read it. Okay. Sam's going to read it. She's going to take over. Go ahead. Go ahead, babe. From roughly 3 p.m. her time until midnight, over the course of nine hours, she ate one grande cold brew coffee. What's this? Oh, calories. 400 calories. This is an estimate. It's not. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Two Doritos Locos Tacos, 400 calories. One Nashi, 720 calories. One Twisty Misty Slushy, 500 calories. One order of smoked chicken, rice, and sweet potato, 1,300 calories. One order of pot pie with salad and mashed potato, 1,100 calories. One cookie ice cream sandwich, 300 calories. One large Slim Jim, 120 calories. Two cupcake-shaped chunks of fudge, 600 calories. Two jumbo gas station hot dogs, 1,100 calories. And one medium to large gas station pizza, 1,100 calories. So they totaled it up at 8K Over calories. 8K. And somebody else said they were being too generous, and they, they pretty much almost doubled that number. Yeah. So I, my question is, Sam, and I was talking to you, to you about this before we went live is, how is Chantel? Because I feel like 100% this is nothing new for, from Chantel. This is how she's always eaten. We've all seen day, it all day. day, every day. This is how she eats. How is she not as big? Look at her. As Anne Berlin. As Anne Berlin. Not like, sure, and then, of course, you know, Sam brings up the diabetes or whatever. So are you telling me that this woman, hold on, Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine, Quick open question for everyone in the support group. Do you guys think that when Chantel eats Nodder's <laughs> butt, he allows her to go inside the real manhole, or does she have to stay licking surface level? Mm -hmm. Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine, thank you so much for a super chat. She and her in. Yeah, I agree with Sam. She goes, she yeah. goes all the way. She goes uh chin deep. <laughs> Into get on somewhere. <laughs> For sure. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So Sam's claiming that she's got the diabetes, which, okay, yes. I'm just I, saying that's what I've seen in chat. That we'll keeps say. her from gaining the weight. So you I tell know. me one day we're just going to wake up and what Chantel's going to, what, lose a leg? Is it just going to all happen at once? It just shit does not make sense, people. I feel like the diabetes festers and festers and festers untreated, and then, yeah, all of a sudden one day, bam, out of nowhere, yeah, you, your foot starts rotting or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure neither. I mean, uh, maybe take a poll, rim job, or uh, I'm digging for gold. <laughs> okay, okay. Think? Take a poll. Well, I mean, what do you mean take a poll? Take a poll is what? I'm, I'm, whether he only lets her do the rim jobs. Or I'm not taking a poll. Get out of here <laughs> taking a poll on that crap. Bye, guys. Jesus Christ. Anyways, what is she doing? No, I'm not taking her up. You asked me to. I'm down here. Oh, was she trying to potty down here? Oh, I told you you coming to get her. You, you said did. you were taking her out. Well, don't forget her harness because she's going to need to go potty. Take her out. Take her out. But she's going to need to go potty eventually. Take her harness. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, Sam is trying to treat our living room upstairs like a litter box. A dog. Li ah, I'm just joking. Don't you dare. <laughs> Stop. Lying on me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get right into the video because the one that I want to watch, which was not the one where she's driving in her car, it's the one where she's at home, where she's talking about how she's going to rehome Pete's. And I'm going to let you know that you might get a little bit triggered, especially at the end, when Scammy McScammerton, Chantel, Foodie Boozy, 
Y'all like that, Foodie Boozy? Has anybody ever called her that? Or do I have dibs on that name? <laughs> Mrs. Foodie Boozy over there scamming the Uber Eats again. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Chantel, you big fat scammer. Making all that damn money. You got the audacity to be scamming the poor Uber Eats delivery people. It's pathetic. It's gross. And it's disgusting. Foodie Boozy. Hurricane. Thank you so much for joining the shit show. We appreciate you. Oh, let me find a better one. I fucking hate pussy. I don't, I'm not fucking gay. I'm not fucking gay. <laughs> we love that for you, Chantel. Anyways, let's get right into it. Let me see what she titled this stream. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on. Chicken pot pie dinner in my room. Eat with me. It was three hours and 28 minutes. Guys, we are going to have to try not to comment as much because I really want to watch it all. Okay, there's a lot of good shit in here. Uh, should I go for the 1.75? I'm going to put it on 1.75, and if you guys cannot keep up or if it's too fast for us, we'll sl we'll knock her down, okay? Just let me know. Hey, there used to be a Dimitri on YouTube, actually. And he was cool. But someone had to drive him away because they thought he was a scammer, and she was even a bigger scammer. Okay, ho, 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 ho. The, you know what? I'm so glad I forgot about this. We are at the very beginning, and Chantel was already talking when the uh, live stream started, which is kind of weird, Chantel. That you, I don't know who you were talking to before you were even live, but okay. Badusi Chin Deep Booty Cruncher. Enjoy the name and the profile picture. Love it so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. We appreciate you. I'm not fucking I'm gay. gay. Sam. Ah, oh, man, I wish you had stayed down here for this. I forgot about this at the beginning of the video. Listen. Here's a little backstory. Exactly. She's talking about Dimitri Stein. So, four years ago, three years ago or whatever, back in the drama community days, there was this guy named Dimitri Stein, right? He was in our community. Remember how I told y'all I come from a smaller um, drama community? Okay. Well, this guy was a part of the community. And um, he would do, like, I don't know, like, uh, videos and just driving and talking. Well, eventually, and he was a big supporter of all of ours. When I say all of ours, I mean, like, the drama community, right? Always in our chats, always supporting or whatever. Well, he started, when they take the diabetic toes, we should bribe the Canadian doctor to hand him over to the support group. Yava yeah, can do an amputated toe giveaway. Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Patine. Thank you so much for Super Chat. We appreciate your input to the support group. You are an important member, okay? Uh, Wims. Wh uh, I could see it when I was on my phone. Anyways, Mimsy, it's my birthday. Yavin Sam, I'm up at 2.30 in Hawaii to get a shout out because I love you guys. Thank you so much for Super Chat and happy birthday, girl. Don't worry, we read it at the beginning too. Here you go. Happy birthday. He was an actual weirdo, and I wish he was still around because he would have been an excellent cow. Exactly. I can't remember. It's been so long ago, but the dude eventually started, like, doing soup. You know, like, what are they called where they give you food? What's that shit that Angie Lee does, Sam, where you get the food for free? The um, Oh, gosh. What is it called, damn it? Um... You know, where you go to, like, the food pantry. The food pantry. Anyways, it's where you go to, like, the pantry, and they give you free food. Well, he was doing hauls, and he was recording it, right? And he had this nice house. He had a very, very nice house. Um, he had he drove a very nice... It was Yeah, it's a food bank. Sorry, excuse me. A food bank haul. He had a very nice car. He dressed in very nice clothing. So when he started coming on here doing these food bank calls, we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it was so freaking weird it was because you could tell the dude wasn't just an average joe like it looked like he had like money like not just the nine to five type of guy it looked like he actually had a career and he actually had money so when he started doing the food bank haul we were like what the fuck you know and then he started asking people for money or whatever and when it was actually a uh, hot plate i'm sure somebody gave hot plate the information but i'll give credit where credit is due it was Hot Plate that uh, pulled his ticket and uh, exposed him for being the lying scammer. Scammer, scamming 10 that he was, right? Uh, Sam, he ended up being like some kind of, he ran for like some kind of office or whatever. I can't remember the whole detail of it, but he was a scammer. Yeah, he ran for some kind of political office. Yeah, there was all kinds of shit. And once he got exposed, he was never to be seen 
again. Like once that video dropped, it was like poof, gone in the wind. I'm sure he came back under an alias, but we never seen him again. But anyways, I love that for you, Sh uh, Chantel, that you're sitting up here on your platform and you're backing the likes of a known con artist because he was a con. He was exposed as a con man. There was a lot more to it. I can't remember because it was so long ago. But that's exactly who Chantel's referring to. And that's who she's talking about until he get ran off. Let's just hear her say it herself, shall we? Who are you, Dimitri? Hey, there used to be a Dimitri on YouTube, actually. And he was cool. There used to be a Dimitri on YouTube, actually. And he, and he was cool. Yeah, the con man was so, so cool. But someone had to drive him away. Because they thought he was a scammer. Somebody had to drive him away because they thought he was a scammer. That's hot plate she's talking about. She was even a bigger scammer. Whatever. Look, there's a difference between a scammer and a beggar, okay? I will say this much. There's a difference between a scammer and being a flat-out fucking e-begging bum on the internet, okay, Chantel? Don't get the two confused. I swear, there used to be a Dimitri guy. He used to eat lean cuisines on camera. All right. People think everyone's a scammer. I'm eating dinner. He was 100% a scammer. You guys like my dinner? Hi, everybody! Emerald, Van Tweezers, pretty, pretty princess. Snack cakes, undercover lover, hi. Hey, Rach Marie. Hi, oh, gay boy. Oh, all the hearts. Greg, Karen, Holly. Karen, did you figure it out? Catacombe, Keisha, chicken toes, beef sugar. Now, this meal was after her Starbucks, after her Burger King, after her Dairy Queen. Am I leaving anything? Oh, and after her Taco Bell. Okay, so this is like her, I don't know, fourth, fifth takeout of the day. Wannabes? Joe Beef? Travonda the sequel? <laughs> I like Joe Beef. Hey, Dale. Come on, Marga, I miss you. Scamception. Ronda, Ariel. <laughs> Amelia had to call me Fupa, Queen of Kittens. I'm having pot pie and mashed potatoes and gravy and Greek salad. Yum. You guys like pot pie? Mm. Oh, well, if you mean bitch in a loving way. Lambo, I can't believe I blocked you! You know whose fault that is? <laughs> Reginald Don. <laughs> Hey, Reggie! What's up, my man? Ready, set, bees. It's an upside down pot pie and mashed potatoes. His name is Reginald. Gravy, I'd think. be changing that name real quick to Nana. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'd smash the pot pie. I like Travondo the, the next pie. generation. I miss Travondo. And her salad looks good. Me. Anything to numb the pain. <laughs> Kirby. I'm dead. Stinky Anna? Why do you guys think I'm stinky? We don't think we know, bitch. You don't believe me when I tell you I'm starting a diet, but whenever I tell you I'm stinky, you believe me. See how you cherry pick what you want to believe? You see it? You see it? You see Gucci it? Gucci Glam, hi! Era. A Nothing. lot, Tweety. Stank Jordy. Or I'm Jello. Hey, Bubba. I'm not sure, Madeline. If I had to guess how many calories I ate today, I would say, let me see how good I am at guessing. 700. Hey, 4,000. That's too many. It's not a normal day. You know. But I don't have normal eating habits. This is my problem. This is what I need help with. No, you can't go on my keyboard. Ugh, get down. Ugh. This is so delicious. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm honest. Being mm. honest here, guys. I do not know how she's still walking at this point. This, I'm gonna assume either Chantel is just made a fucking still and she can eat and do whatever she wants. And I mean, yeah, she's obviously big and she's obviously gaining weight, but it still don't add up from what she eats to the way she looks. I'm sorry. Had to restart my membership because my card anyways. Did we coordinate what colors we'll be wearing to the wedding yet? Dibs on fuchsia. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with ham, Moonface. Thank you so much for being a member for 10 months. We appreciate you. Mm. Wine Jello! <laughs> like that? Oh, don't go, Amelia. Hi, Gail. No more ordering out tonight, guys. 
That's it. Tomorrow's grocery day. Wow. Carly! Yeah, Carly, like how she did. When are we... Do, when are we beezing? Fupa fabulous, you think so? Who are beezing? Wow. Duchess of Langley, thank you for being <laughs> a member for nine months. Mitsu, That's I don't hate hilarious. you. Moscato bees? Not today. She has strong bones. My liver is processing the Nashies today. All right. This is what's crazy. There are people, there are her members in her chat encouraging her. What did they say? Moscato bees? They're encouraging her. This woman who already has an addiction to food, a very, very intense addiction to food, encouraging her to order alcohol with her fatty fucking liver. Mm -mm -mm. How much money does she spend on all the delivery and fast food? Well, to be fair, Aunt B, at the end, she does a chargeback. I think everyone should wear white to the wedding. Really take away from the bride. <laughs> You're right. I need to slow down, Rhonda. Just one more bite. This is the best pot pie I've had in a long time. Mm. Just one more bite. A nearby 10. Damn, it's already gone. No, it's at 1.5. Um, oh, that meal I gave a lot, most of it to Pete's because he was hungry. So after he voted. Hi, Giraffe. Miss Tien, hello. Gemini, strawberries. The food is from, it's from an Irish pub. Yes, I'll get you the link. Give me just a second. And uh, the only thing is they don't have drinks for delivery, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, and what else? I had, so I had a little bit. I brought the chicken meal home and I had a little bit. I had a chicken wing and a bit of rice and that's it. And a bit of rice and that's it. You know, because she's a dainty queen. You like his boyfriend dungeon streams? No, I'm glad you like them. <laughs> I did not. I didn't vote because I'm an asshole. But there is the link to the membership. I'm gonna pin it to the Pete's top did. of the chat for the person who voted asked. Uh, NDP. Okay, I'm on live chat. Don't forget to make sure you're on live chat, people. Look alive. A lot of conservatives are not happy with Ford. Oh no, we're gonna skip because this. I was who's in power right now? The conservatives. Because the conservatives uh, not interested. Do not in Canadian politics. Are not happy Sorry, guys, that he just not. Downs. Not interested in politics at all, honestly. They're distracting. Get towed because I'm the size of a truck. Good. Fuck my salad. I don't Convoy, understand the fact that Chantel, that you are home and you still choose to eat with a fucking plastic fork. I don't get it. There. Okay. Huh? Look at her like a wild animal, dude. I know feta is life. Fet life. <laughs> feta life. Serenity and welcome to the shit like show. Thank you so much for joining. Hold on. Mm. I'm not fucking, I'm fucking gay. gay. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> really? Well, she lives in Quebec. Hello, fresh. Mississippi Blondie, welcome to the shit yeah, show. Yeah, Spy Rose. I don't know. I'm fucking they have so many options. Hey, 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 hey. Could y'all imagine, though? Hear me out for a second. If this video got suggested and somebody who doesn't know what the fuck's going on or who Chantel is clicks on it and all of a sudden they hear something like this. I'm not fucking, fucking gay. gay. They're going to be like, I'm reporting you to YouTube. I don't think so. You're a bit homophobic over there, I think. <laughs> Their pasta dishes are good and you get a lot of a lot oh, more. Oh, I know, Mercy. Their pasta dishes, you get a lot more food for your buck, is my is my suggestion. <sighs> it's a dry scale. Thank you. Give us an arm flap when someone joins Just over my dead oil. body. <laughs> Go. Hey, Rice. Mm. I'll be done eating probably, probably now for the night. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna be on too too late tonight because I'm gonna do uh, Mario bees. Oh, are I did you? Mario bees last night. Stinky, hi. You know what? Honestly, a uh, ham colored sandwich. I have no idea, because that is why. It's just like when people complain about like. Of course, there's all kinds of reasons why price you know spikes in stores or whatever. But also theft is included. And yes, that's considered theft. That's like going in Walmart, going through the self-checkout, Chantel, and not scanning your fucking items. It's the same shit. 
you took pictures of that food. You know what? I'm just going to hold off on that to the end. And if we don't finish all this, we're definitely going to the end to see that part. Just wait. He's making a meal? It's What's he making? Theft. I want to see him. Oh God! Hey, Deb. Weekend soon. Oh, come on, cat. This one. Oh, he's making mashi. Mm. Kirby bees. Mario's a bitch. <laughs> he's making mashi. I think it's called mashi. It's stuff. And you know that they're in some kind of fight. Something's going on between her and Nodder. I think Chantel probably is out of money or getting out of money. And he probably asked her for money. Now, this is just a scenario. Okay? We're not saying this will happen. But something happened. Okay? There is trouble in paradise for the simple fact that Nodder went live yesterday and put Didi in the thumbnail. The only time he uses the Didi or allows Didi on camera is to make his woman jealous. Vegetables? It's really good. Hey, Nisi. I'm salivating watching him. I like the food. No, I agree. Stopping sm the smaller businesses definitely feel the burn more than you know a corporation would. But it, at the end of the day, it theft is theft. And I have an attraction to Arabic men. I don't know why. Hey, Diana. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. <laughs> Gail. I've seen a little bit of that kitty. No, I'm not fetishizing. I'm just. Hey, Indy. Oh. Terry, hello. Fetishizing. No, I'm kidding. Look at the food. Max, don't do it again, boy. <laughs> White males are the worst. How do I feel about her rehoming Pete's? Honestly, I mean, Pete's is a grown ass man. I mean, he if he hasn't been keeping up with the storyline, or he ha if he hasn't been listening to the people telling him that hey, Chantel's eventually gonna leave you or kick you out or whatever for Nodder, that's on him. He's a grown ass man, dude. Figure it out. You can't expect a, a woman or another person, man or woman, to take care of you for the rest of your life. I don't care how much you've done for them. I don't think I don't notice much of a. I find white men. Hey, like the white men I've dated. Oh dear God, hold on. I'm I'm just not. I don't I don't know why we have to sit here and talk about a specific race of people. <sighs> Bye, glitzy glam. Matter is attractive, right, Gail? He is an attractive person. So she can be so fucking insulting, <sighs> man. Oh my God, Langello, your Haitian husband for six thirty four years. Have you only ever been together? I'm curious about this. I'm not judging. I'm just wondering. 34 years with the same person only? But if you can be with other people and go through things together in 34 years... <laughs> Don't care. <clears throat> well... Let's get to the part where you talk about getting like, I've come please. on here and said nothing but mean stuff. Hey, so. Ruby. If you came on here and said nothing He's but bad again. shit about your, the guy you're with, you'd be like... Oh, what did that? Oh my god, only with Jeff. Wow. Oh, sorry, guys. That's crazy. Well, good for you guys. I'm American stereotype. I don't like those things about myself. I don't like the gluttonous, overindulgent side of myself. I don't. And that's why I raged against myself too in Cuba. I raged against other people, but I raged against myself as well. I am not badly I do not need a mobility scooter. Fuck you. Yet. You need to add yet to that, Chantel. We need guns to protect ourselves. No, you Yeah, okay. You can have a handgun. You don't need a fucking assault weapon. We need a machine gun to protect it's yourself. Against... Up that Pete's is saying weird shit about moving out. Somebody unarmed? How about everyone's unarmed and let nature take its course? Oh, That's the Darwin. No. Nope. Me too. What is he making? Bad key. <laughs> said he makes money off YouTube. Yeah, he does. He makes money off YouTube. <clears throat> Not what I make, but he makes um. He's now making a decent amount that he can afford to fucking uh, treat me for dinner. Right, Nader? Right. So, <laughs> yeah. 
Do we believe? Do we believe that Nader? I mean, should is it even worth doing a poll over? I mean, fuck it, let's do one anyways. Did Nader pay for Chantel's mill? There we go. Let's see what the people say. I see you, Plute. Sorry, I missed you. <coughs> so I'm coming up tomorrow <laughs> again. Nader, can you sing for us in the chat? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm out. This is hey, so fucking Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I was with my indigenous hubby for over 30 years. Separated for three. Was together since I was 14. Wow. No, that's awesome. No, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, <laughs> every single one of you right now has a different life situation. Okay. Oh, Some of you gosh. don't care. So. Oh. Don. <laughs> we want to know who said yes. Karen. You don't know how bad I've been doing. It's a well-known fact that Chantel watches in the mornings. I'm being valued. <clears throat> no! Is there any alcohol? Oh, no, it's 8.30. The wine rack is open? Till what time? Yes! Let's get some booze. Wow. I can get a case of wine for 100 bucks. Can get, get a case of Jackson Triggs. A case? Why do you need... A case? For what fucking reason? Did you see Nada raging and ranting about Gary and Filtered about the raw chicken? He's so tricky. Yeah, I seen clips, I think, on Twitter, and maybe it was the farms, but yes, totally. I know I know what's going on as far as that goes. Can get a case. Oh, wait a minute. How about we get... I mean, when and I think that Nader was stream sniping. I, I don't know who the... I guess this is a new reaction channel, or I just haven't heard of them yet. Gary Unfiltered. So Nader was streaming this person, and I think the Gary Unfiltered was streaming Nader back. That is a perfect time to make Nader very uncomfortable. Like, start grilling him on, like, why or how many times are you really sleeping with Chantel? Is it true that you do the dead doggy? Is it true that you go nose deep all up in that shit? Those are the kind of questions I need answers to. I don't Moscato. care anything about his raw chicken. Moscato. Where's Moscato? Hey, Habs mom. Oh, this is my favorite bodacious Moscato. Rosé. The amount of calories she consumed and then is going to fucking drink on top of that and eat again, dude, is just fucking mind-baffling. Right. Hey, Brandy. Butter crumpet. Chantel gives the ammunition to troll about the raw chicken and it drove him bananas. <laughs> Peace will go get it for me. I'm getting Moscato. Three big bottles of it. Let's have a bees night tonight. I don't think I've ever had Moscato. I'm not drinking white wine because Didi drinks it. I only went to Didi's like a couple of times. <laughs> it's not like I was like there a long time, like enough to form a habit from it. You know what I mean? Hey, oh, Elaine. sorry. Well, for all the beezers who get blocked tonight. Gary is cool people. The farms claim you bought a mobility scooter with a side That's seat true, for Nader. That's true, Monster. is very sensitive about his... Uh, okay, I pictured that. <laughs> Hi, Worm Sheriff! Indy, yeah. I'll get some rum. No, I'm having Moscato, so I guess I won't have this. No, I have a little piece after. It helps me sleep. Right, bitch on your rascal. <laughs> hey, Jelly Bean. You guys are mean. Angel wings, I'm dead. <laughs> it's drunk sugar water. Uh, sure, what Caroline. Is this? Let me see what I can do. Hold on. Foodie beauty. Oh my god, why did I... You guys didn't even know that my mayonnaise went on my chin? <laughs> Let's see. I think I just go here. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks so gross eating this mess. Slow the chat down, some guys. I think twenty seconds. The mayonnaise work. got stuck on my chat. <laughs> oh my god! You look like a moron. It's not funny. <laughs> no. How did I not feel that? <laughs> Cesar, please wear the DC wig and buy a silk robe. And a blonde wiglet for knives. You two can be DC and Neg's Canada edition. Are they still together? Oh, is this dead? Oh. 
Oh, God. I wish Chantel would step foot in New York and I could be there at the same time. I would pe play the 911 stream and pew, pew, and let nature take its course and she needs to shut it about America. Payday, thank you for the super chat and I agree 100%. Hey, Maxie. <coughs> It's Sam Telford. Telford. You're entertained? Good. Sam Wait, is that Dimitri? In the chat. Is this the real Dimitri? Are you Dimitri from YouTube? Even Next doesn't want to be Next. <laughs> what is that that she's eaten? What, bud? Oh, uh, minty cornbread. <laughs> door shut? Oh my god. That's a shit show down here. Where's my phone? Nextzilla. <laughs> Stop, y'all. Here's some trigger chat to trigger trolls. Hi. Thank you. I'm just gonna have a little bit of the edible. Hey, Christina. Oh, she's eating an edible. Did I watch Where Hussy Drag DC? I did not watch any of that stream. I've heard a little bit from Sam. I think she uh, went over it a little bit, but I am curious to uh, see because DC said that she was gonna pretty much uh, read Hot Plate for Filth. Did that happen? I don't think it happened. Did it happen, DC? Did you read her for filth? Did that happen? Here's the thing, DC. You can't defend one degenerate against another degenerate, right? You can't sit here and say, oh, you picked up my boyfriend four years ago, and I want you to apologize for it because you were so mean to him when he did a bunch of bad shit to people too, okay? It's not going to work like that. There, Max, go upstairs. But uh, I'm going to go over that stream later probably. Yeah. Alone. Go upstairs. The open. Oh, while drinking the wine, you mean? <laughs> I see. I didn't think so. I ordered the booze for delivery. Y'all give me something to look forward to in the chaos of the morning. So glad we could help you out with that. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm not fucking, fucking gay. Gay. Gay, 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 gay. Oh, DC looks stupid, huh? <laughs> I can't go in your Hot plate was the best behaved out of all of them. God, no. Well, you're not welcome at the villa. How do you like that? Oh my god, do I need to shut up? Why Nicky Terry? What a fucking shit show, man. <laughs> I think she eats those wheelchairs because she likes the way they taste. Hey Krabby Joe. What if you got stranded in Canada? I would save you, I guess. Depends if you smell like pea soup. Chantel just shouted out minty cornbread. <laughs> I'm dead. Thank you for the super chat. Our lady Chantel perpetual poutine. I go. lost weight. What do you think? No. I think you can't fit in that oversized office chair any longer. Chantel's what I think. Yes. Sam's hair appointment. Yes. I won't forget it. What do you guys think? Should we react to that stream later tonight? Should we give them a little bit of attention? Or should we keep the degenerates off the channel? Should we vote? Let's vote, shall we? Uh, whose channel was it on? React to DC versus Hot Plate. Let the people decide. Here we go. Hey, G. Say I'm at four. I'm not going to forget. I'm pretty sure the wheelchairs are full of sugar. She's in her 20th trimester. <laughs> Who you said my come. name? <laughs> Our lady did. When, yes. When will I take my weight seriously? It was boring and weird. What makes you think I don't take it seriously? Goofy, dumb, goofy. I want to get something to memorize. Memorialize my hand. screaming cunt at her. Oh gosh. Give us a date, an exact date. Okay. For when I'm going to take my health seriously. All right. What's the date today? <laughs> Angel Wings, here's a little something for you to enjoy your new grill. We appreciate you and Sham. Thank you so much, Angel Wings. We appreciate you too. Thank you. I'm not fucking, I'm not fucking gay. gay. 
Actually, I would like to give you an exact date. Okay, give me like another month. You eat 50 fucking mashies and 30 twisty pisties a day. <laughs> I better end the poll for Sam get some. Whatever, eyes. you're exaggerating. And no wonder you think I'm unhealthy. I don't know. I'll Am think about it. Them? I'll have to watch the stream and see for myself. I mean, the thing is, you don't want to give cover, them... I know, I want to cover up. Oh, That's probably right. what I should do next, Porchly. Shut up, Chantel. I mean, start talking about kicking pizza out for fuck's sakes. You don't want to give them the attention, but I mean, there's... Look, people are going to watch whether they want to watch or not, right? I mean, that's how I feel about it. I had to bring Harlow in my office and close the door. Is she acting that bad? Is she being that big? Of that big, bad girl, is she? Hussy blew it. Mm-mm-mm. Actually is. Best line was DC saying negs made them Facebook official. Holy absolute fuck. Get this ugly tit tat covered up. <sighs> Maybe I just want to live my life like this. Is that a problem for you? No, she doesn't want Do you think I have, clothes. like, you guys are so upset that you say I'm wasting my life. So, actually, this means that I have some hidden potential, right? Like, you must. Oh, my gosh. DC was on her way to Indiana and kept losing con connection. That's a hell of a drive. We want to give Chantel shit for uh, putting miles on her car for driving two hours each way to see uh, Nodder. What is that? Like, a nine-hour drive one way? That's insane. She potential in me to be so disappointed that I'm pissing my she was chewing the remote control when I went out there to open the door. She's so naughty. I like the way. That's actually promising. I might take you up on this. A tramp stamp. <laughs> it's fed liquid now. She has a... <clears throat> we don't want to watch you slowly die. You're watching everyone slowly die. Not to be a smart ass, but yeah, I know what you mean. I can't get Robies tomorrow. Now I have to fucking save up money. Look at my hair's growing back. My hair looks like a hairy. My hair looks like a hairy vine. Wow, she was just here two days ago. <laughs> Do I look like a cute milk maiden? Yes, sir. Thank you, Peggy. I did not. My hair looks like a wire brush. It's long enough for hair fibers. Let me see if I have hair fibers. She's such a it was garbage. Baby, hopefully. Though. Hey, Paul. Chia pet. Ow, Paul. Don't <laughs> Lesbian. So? Jesse is disgusting the way he talks to women. Did I have hair fibers? I don't have any now. Army wife DC said Negs wants to meet up with CJ and Hot Plate in person with DC there also. See, he talks that big talk, that big boy talk, but he really ain't about shit. He don't want to meet up with nobody in person. What's he going to do? What's he going to do all from a ride in his fucking, what, 1982 Buick? Are you kidding me? He's not going to do nothing. Invite him over for tea up in his mom's hot-ass attic. He ain't going to do shit, dude. Knock it off. Is Fat Apples in here? Hey, Fat Apples. Why did you call me Corn? Why do you call me weird names like this? <laughs> the fuck? Corn? Who's a corn't and a gaunt? <laughs> yeah, Tasha. I agree. I took the whole down. Hair and live, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rusty said it. He gets credit. Oh, dude. <coughs> I know him. <laughs> Reginald! Know. Are you worried that pizza's turning into a penis woman? Well, I have an announcement. He was too scared to face MFW. The, the thing is that he can't, he can't sit there and fucking... You can't argue with facts. Like, yeah, Katie's did some fucking crazy, nasty, horrible shit online, but so is he. You can't sit there and patrol the internet. And that's what kills me. Like, these people, like Alex's Glitter and all these motherfuckers, it's like, they wake up one morning and they're like, I want to go tell somebody on the internet what to do, you know? And with Ron, him especially, like, with Alex, I'll give her this much. Like, I've I don't know that Alex has ever actually got real fucking nasty on the internet, like Ron, like Katie. How in the hell are you going to start patrolling the internet when you are just as bad, if not worse? You can't. You absolutely cannot, man. All the nasty shit that you said about her, there was no excuse for that. Oh, well, she said this, and she did this, and you did this, and you did that. The only thing is, you were a lot more dirtier about the shit that you did in the beginning, and at the beginning, you try to hide it all. 
Just want to say I'm here for you because you fucking rock. Thank you so much, Pamela. We appreciate you. Pete might be getting his own place. Like that, that literally it blows my mind when people wake up and they start to pick and choose who they want to be thrown off the internet. Well, let me make a list of all the bad things that these people have ever done on the internet. Let's get them off, fellas. Like, how about you just log the fuck off, man? Stop calling me a corn. Actually, like, what is corn? Corn thou? Dude, payday. Our dog is tearing up everything. She's really bad about our shoes. What does it mean? I like this word. I'm gonna have to shut the windows. Hold, please. Okay, Layla, you would hate my channel when it was a mukbang channel because literally every video was food. Kicking pizza. I'm not. That's why I'm. You look like a pretty milkman. That's what I was wondering. Like a milkmaid life. I'm poor. <laughs> I like Uber Eats. Make me have to file a complaint. I don't know what the beeping noise was. AF veteran. Oh, I sometimes I just randomly beep and I don't know why. Stuff, Uber guns. Um, exactly. Might tropical. be putting. He might be. Uh, I might be putting him up in a. Hey, bubble tea. <laughs> Because I need my privacy. I need my own space. I need to... Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, finally, Chantel. Let me tap it back a little bit. Just in case. I'm going to start here, I think. There was so much talk about bumpy cock, dry pussy, leg spreading. It made me kind of queasy. <laughs> How fucking weird is that, man? I agree, Pamela, 100%. All right, hold on. Let's see. This word. <laughs> okay, Layla, you would hate my channel when it was a mukbang channel because literally every video was food. Kicking pizza. I'm not. That's why I'm... You look like a pretty milkman. That's what I was wondering, like a milkmaid life. Hey, unknown. How are you, hun? I'm poor. <laughs> I like Uber Eats. You like Uber Eats because you scam, I'm going to say, 80% of the time. You pay for a few meals and the rest, you file a complaint and get a charge back. I don't know what the... Did I miss your super chat, Lydia? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. As attached to her dogs as she always was, I wonder who is caring for them. And if they're stressed and with her leaving constantly. I did not see that, Lydia. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the super chat. And you know what? I agree. Um, but I will give her this much I know, with her partner that she was with. Maybe they take turns with the dogs so that we keep the, you know, because the dogs are probably used to being with either or with both. So hopefully they're with her partner. And she, I don't think that she would just leave them with strangers. I'm going to assume that they're with um, her ex. Beeping noise was. Sometimes I just randomly beep and I don't know why. Uber guns. I'm, I might be put. he might be, uh, I might be putting him up in a. Because I need my privacy. I need my own space. I need. To I might be putting him up in a. Uh, 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 what is that again, Chantel? What are you gonna do with uh, OPC? To. We need to move on separately. I think. Hell no, Fred. You ever get tired of talking about fucking Ozzy Osbourne being dead? No. Okay then. But I'm not gonna be leaving him in the cold. I'm. We're trying to get him a. Um, like room in like a house like a nice place like right downtown I think would be really good for him yeah Pete's I think it okay so the plan was at the beginning that she was going to go to Montreal and get a place which we all know was going to be for Nada right so whatever with that whatever happened with that fell through for sure 100% now she's moving on to rehoming Pete somewhere in an apartment and she's going to take care of it and she's going to pay for it because she needs her privacy aka Nada needs somewhere to live Nodder needs somewhere to live. You cannot pay me to believe that Chantel is going to move out of the villa and move somewhere else. Do you know how much work that would take for her to move out? So she's going to move Pete's out of his home, right? Put him up somewhere else. And we know that Nodder is planning on moving in with Chantel 100%. It would be really good for him. The guy who never leaves his room. He never leaves his room. He's a hermit anyway. It doesn't matter where he is. Um, Really, Colleen? No, I'm not moving anybody in. I'm not an apartment, a room. They're thinking about getting him a room. 
Holy crap, dude. A room in a building like Nodder. Wow. Dude, he is a grown-ass man, though. You cannot expect other... For one, Chantel shouldn't have to get him shit. He should get his own place. I'm not saying that he ain't helped Chantel out, but still, that doesn't mean that she owes him a goddamn apartment and to pay for his his living situation. Are you kidding me? It's pretty fucking sad that your ex-girlfriend has to rehome you, dude. That is so pathetic. Place too. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to be doing, but I'm not. Agreed, Angel Wings. Pete's need to man up and move out. This is on him, really. He needs to start taking care of himself. Yeah, agreed. And I'm staying at the villa for long term. So, um, <laughs> no. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, co wet snow it is. No, I'm not. I'm, for, for real, I think I'm not moving to Montreal. No. Get him a kill. No. Oh, no, you're not moving to Montreal because the plans have changed. Y'all got shot down. Either you two numbnuts couldn't get approved even for a shitty fucking apartment. There's a reason why you're not going to Montreal, okay? It doesn't have to do with you just don't want to go to Montreal. No, what, what happened did not work out. Amazon sells movable, foldable metal dog play pens. They are great for raising puppies in different sizes. 100 to 200, check them out. The Meepstress, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. We got to look into something else. We were going to get another. We got a crate upstairs just so we can keep her in at nighttime so she doesn't potty anywhere. I was going to get another one for the basement. I mean, pretty much she's almost potty trained. But I do have to do something to keep her away from the cats. I, but I really, honestly, I don't want to just keep her away from the cats. I want to just try to train her to keep away from the cats. That way she doesn't have to stay locked up. Pete's is going to be happier, I think. He's right now. He'll have he'll be more likely to have a life on his own. Like, he, you know, he'll probably do more YouTube, I guess. He can take the time. He'll be right downtown. Like the place like I want to find him a place right downtown. So like something of his own where he can have his own like private, you know, just a nice big room, fully furnished with a bathroom, maybe a shared kitchen. He has his own like fridge and microwave in the room, you know. Um, wow. Remember at the beginning when she made all that money and she's talking about getting Pete's own place? Oh, and you've done get knocked down to get in your own room there, Pete. Maybe it will be good for him to be with other people, you know? <clears throat> Does yeah, it bother you that Nader's liking really bad? No. Look what you guys call him, fucking cracky and everything, and I just fucking... Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. His fans hate me. They should all become my beezers. <laughs> yeah, that's right, SJM. You guys don't... I, we are not going to expect you to like each other, like, after everything, right? Especially right away. But real life is not like that. In real life, people, you don't know the full, full story. Oh, just bliss. That makes sense. So why isn't she just getting Nodder a room? Why is Pete's getting the room and not Nodder? Because we all know this is what it comes back to, right? She wouldn't have the villa without him in the first place. She should at least treat him like a fucking person. Well, silent member, I mean, I think she has. Like, I mean, yeah. The, okay, so she wouldn't have the villa without Pete. You're right. And Pete's wouldn't have, you know how long it's been since Pete's has had to pay like a full month's worth of rent or even half? They've been in his villa for what, two years? I don't like Chantel. I can't stand Chantel and I can't stand Pete. So I'm looking at this without being biased. I'm just looking at the situation. I'm not looking at it as Chantel, as Pete's, none of that. I'm just thinking about the situation. He's the one that signed the lease, got them into the place. Chantel, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to say 99% sure that Chantel has paid for all bills since they've been in here. I feel like she's kind of paid him back as far as like him getting the, the place for him and everything. Do I think it's right that she wants to do this because of Nodder? Absolutely not. Not. That's gross. We have been telling Pete's. The people have been telling Pete's. They go into Pete's chat all the time. They're like, Pete, you need to do something. She's going to kick you out because of Nodder. If he wants to roll the dice... And take that chance and hope that her and Nodder just don't work out. That's on him, dude. He's a grown-ass man. Chantel is putting Pete's up. This would be a perfect time for Sandy and Ange to adopt him. They should take Becky with them, too. Hell, I agree, Danny Jean. Thank you for the super chat. Hold on, let me see. With her low views, it's possible she can no longer afford the villa and pay for Pete's smaller place so she has more money to spend on Nodder. Yolanda, it's a very good possibility. Thank you for being a member for two months. Oh, hold on. I don't like Pete's, but I'm not moving out anywhere where my name is on the lease. No way. Well, Badusi, Chin Deep, Booty Cruncher. Here's the thing, though. 
if you can't pay it, then you have to move out. That's just how it goes, right? Pizza, dude, there's trash. There's tr there's trash right now on every balcony, I think, in that apartment. If It doesn't matter. Just because you put your name on the lease, doesn't, okay, I'm going to go, I, I mean, who's going to give me that opportunity? Here, I'll use my credit, my name, and I'm going to put it all in the contract, all in the lease and everything. You pay all bills. You take care of all meals. You take care of the cleaning, the little bit of cleaning that does get done. Happy birthday to your son, JD. Brought balloons and a cupcake for his birthday at school, and his school said he can't have balloons. Was like, <laughs> I was like, dismiss him. Schools are really strict as far as like the cupcakes and everything like that goes. I mean, at some point, just because your name is on something still doesn't give you the right to, I mean, if I'm being fair here, if I'm not looking at it as Chantel and Pete's, and if I'm looking at, like, I don't know these two people, Pete's is using Chantel just for a place to live. She's in a better room herself. She eats, shits, and sleeps in one room. She doesn't need a whole-ass villa. Absolutely not, but she's doing it just for Nodder. Anyways, I don't like none of them, so I love this for everybody. I'll say a lot of bad, so it just so happens in real life we've mended things, and that's it. So that's why we're in each other's lives. <laughs> so... They I'm all taking care of my cats. End of story. Nothing else to say. Everyone hates me. I know. And I don't care what you say. Peach is a total fucking creep, man. At the gym, what did I miss? Love to everyone. Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Have a very good day at the gym, and thank you for the super chat. Yeah, they all use each other. Kristen, I'm not dropping Pete. I'm not dropping anybody. Before, whenever he lived on his own. They both need to move, in my opinion. She needs to get a place in her name, and he needs to get a place in his name. They just use each other, in my opinion. Agree, but does see? It, there's no real friendship. There's no real relationship yet there. It's just, what can the other person do for me? Um, he doesn't leave his bedroom or go to work. It's going exactly, to be awkward. Exactly, Crumpet. Can't no, that's why it won't be. He lived in, he rented a room before. Um, you guys are freaking out for nothing. I'm not moving in with anybody. I just, I like, just want to be alone. Pete definitely needs to be on his own. He's a big boy. Exactly. I don't want anyone attached to me. I just, and, and what we did was. Pete allows this shit to happen. Right now he's being a pawn that's being used in this game, right? Now you're up for the auction. You're up for the chopping block, Pete, okay? You're out of there, Pete! We've seen this before. And what happens when her and Otter breaks up? Guys, uh, you know, me and Pete are lifelong buddies. He's not going anywhere. He's my life partner, okay? We're always going to live together. We're always going to be together. His problem, not mine. Before, um, he'll be with people just like him, yeah. And he'll be right downtown. He can go out and, like, go walk for walks by he himself. He doesn't like. even leave the fucking house, Chantel. What does that have to do with anything right downtown? Mm -hmm. Exactly, GC. Don't depend on nobody in life but yourself. <laughs> you Shut better up, make Lola. sure that you always do for you. Well, Because at Lola. the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna be looking out for you the way you will. You know what? Here's what I will say about the balloon, Shira. Now I don't I don't know specifically the reasons why her kids' school won't let them have kids. There was a very, very tragic accident in our district two years ago where a little boy had a balloon. I don't know if the balloon had popped. I don't know if the balloon just hadn't been inflated yet, but the balloon went down his windpipe. And this is why like I will stress to parents, I didn't even think about this. I mean Yes, of course, we know that, you know, you can be choked by anything. But by him sitting there, I think he was trying to blow up the balloon and he inhaled it into his lungs. I guess just playing with it. I'm not sure. He ended up, he, they couldn't get it out. I, could, I couldn't even imagine. They could not get the balloon out of his throat. I don't, ever since then, like, I don't even allow balloons to be brought in my house like that. No. And if I ever see my son or he's at somebody's house and I know they got water balloons or everything, I don't even put that in your mouth. Don't try to blow it up. Nothing. You don't think about, like, you just don't think about everything, man, until something like that happens close in your area. Yeah, it went down his windpipe. Um, I don't know. Yep. You never want to hear stuff like that, and it's hard to talk about. You can about probably just it. come stay here. 
You know, sometimes like wherever. I never thought about stuff like that. You know, God, well, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not gonna leave the cats alone, so they would be. You know, they are very dangerous. So like we don't record check every shit job. I'm glad you're live. My sister ran me out the kitchen this morning with burning ramen, ramen by not adding water. Oh my gosh. Send help. Creek native girl. Thoughts and prayers to you. Thank you so much for a super chat. <laughs> I've been there. I know exactly what you're talking about. This has nothing to do with Natter, like right now. Allergic. Um, yep. Alice. I don't know. I mean, like, number one, like, I kind of just want my own space. Like, for real. I think it's a you have this entire apartment. This this entire apartment is pretty much yours. Hey, Sinatra says, exactly. You just said that Pete doesn't even leave his room. So what more do you need? You have this entire place to yourself. The kitchen, the living room, your room, the bathroom, the balconies. It's, it's all you, Chantel. Why is it that you need privacy? Just be honest about it. That's what people don't like from you. Why don't you just be honest? Because we know, and you just won't say it. About time. I just really never lived on my own. I've been saying that for a long time. Um, and if that was the case, I could, I would totally be like, yeah, I get that. Who doesn't want to have that time in their life where they lived on their own, right? I get it. You don't want to have to. I mean, they're not in a relationship. They're just friends. Totally get that. That's not what's going on, though. Kimikaze, nobody thinks you're funny. Goodbye. <laughs> um, Old yeller Pete. <laughs> so, he never leaves his room, I know. I'm dead. You're so sick of me. So, yeah. I don't want to live with anybody. No, I'm not leaving my cats. My cats are going to be with me. I can't even get my DoorDash. Well, it's time for us both to grow up. Fuck. Right? I can get my DoorDash. We need wine. Freaking liar. Not the boo, just a different living situation. So yes, this place is in his name, but I've always paid the rent. Like, all of it. <laughs> like, oh, see? Yes, the place is in his name, and she's always paid the rent. He cannot afford to pay any rent, so I will be getting him a place and helping him out. Holy crap, Lisa. His mental health is only getting worse, exactly. I don't think living with me is good for him. In the middle of Orleans, he, ha he cannot drive. He's stuck here. He's better off to move somewhere with other people where he can. Water wings are sketchy too. If you see a pair floating together in the water, look for a kid underneath. They can't pull up when they slip. Oh, you're talking about those uh, things that go on the arms. I know what you're talking about. The, um, the We call them arm floaties over here. Cracked. Water rings are sketchy. If you see a pair floating together in the water, that is awful man awful 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 thank you for the super chat and thank you for that information expose himself he's nervous but he has to expose himself hey, you Amy. have to do it i was scared to go to cuba and i fucking did it with no food pills drugs nothing in another country i'm sure he can handle living downtown right right here for the show <clears throat> yeah he doesn't he can't he wants to move to toronto for a job but maybe he can do that someday but right now i mean it's not feasible so i'm a terrible friend why because i don't want to uh, live with somebody for the rest of my life <laughs> that's stupid and you know what I'm beyond caring if people think I'm a bad person for doing what I want to do in my life Chantel thoughts on Pete's claiming he's a lesbian I mean live your life my dude live your life who am I to judge <laughs> I could care less what happens to this moron and, and her house goblin I worry about her cats especially BBJ and Sam isn't going to the vet I think we know for 100% Plutes that the cats are definitely not going to the vet thank you for the super chat so this is part of getting matter back. No. But even if it was, Kristen, obviously. Our Lady Chantel, I agree. Imagine being a grown ass man and being talked about like this publicly. How embarrassing for Peter. Yes, Natter and Pete's cannot live together. And I pay all the rent here and it's more reasonable for Pete's to go first. And I know that sounds mean, but. What? Say it again, Chantel. I'm sorry. What was that, honey? <laughs> Could you repeat that? And you know what? I'm beyond caring if people think I'm a bad person for doing what I want to do in my life. So this is part of getting Natter back. No. But even if it was, Kristen, obviously, yes, Natter and Pete's cannot live together. And I pay all the rent here. And it's more reasonable for Pete's to go first. And I know what <laughs> it's more reasonable for Pete's to go first. Bye-bye, Pete's. You know what? This is all on you, Peter. You've been new. You've been new. 
I'm not fucking, fucking gay. 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 You been knew, Peter, that you were going to get the boot for nods, and you wanted to roll the dice, and you wanted to take that chance, okay? This is nobody's fault, but you're on. We know what kind of, we know, we the people know what kind of person it's. Chantel, foodie beauty, what I call her? What did I call her today? Foodie booty, foodie boozy. We know what kind of person she is, right? You do too. Deep down, you know. But the, you want to defend Chantel and say that she's your best friend, and y'all are always going to be lifelong partners. Why? Because you were freeloading off of Chantel because you took your credit and put it on that fucking apartment. And now what's happening? Now she's choosing her man over you, Peter. We're, what, we're going to feel sorry for you, James? Absolutely not. I like calling him Peter. I don't care if it's James. I like Peter better. That sounds mean, but I think it's time. We've been talking about it. That Pete's foster care. What's the problem with Peter? What do y'all have against the name Peter? Y'all don't like Peter? You want me calling James or Peter? I don't, honestly, at this point, I don't give a fuck. Peter sticks. So. Hey, Chantel eats ass. <laughs> Tell Pete's and drive off. I would never, justice for Pete's. I would never leave Pete stranded. That's subletting? Yeah. No, L5, that's not the end of our, our friendship has survived everything. L5, our friendship has, like, survived everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've cheated Pete's on leaving. him. I've done but I'm going to be leaving too, Esther. So. He keeps crawling they back. They want. I'm going to be leaving eventually. <laughs> <Kick out. laughs> Do you think Peter's sitting up in his room crying to himself watching Chantel's live stream about how he's about to get the fucking boot, dude? I know I would be. Pete just needs to grow up, get a job, get a license, and live like a contributing member of society. I don't like how Chantel treats him, but he's gross. I agree, Peter. Write that down. Write that down, Peter. <laughs> Look, honestly, Pete's up there. He's like, I ain't worried about it. Nader's going to leave her again for another woman. But, you know, he knows the deal. He knows the cycle. But I'm really going to live for I don't care if you think I'm a sick fuck. That's totally fine. I'm totally living for Pete to get in the boot. I am. It's a delivery. Stroking his little pony's voice, crying. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Look at her. Peter! Peter, I have a delivery! <laughs> Would you go get my wine, please, Peter? Yeah, it's downstairs. Thank you, sir. I'll tip you later. I'll let you smell my Snickers wrapper. Why, Max? Why? Tell me about it. Yeah? Who was doing it? Harlow? Is Harlow picking on you again? I know, you poor thing. You want us to get rid of Harlow? You want us to rehome her? Take her to the feeder supplies? Is that what you want, Max? Let's rehome Pete. Rue, they're not gonna let her in Canada. Give me a it's break. Okay. Bring it on. I think I'm scared. Pete! I can have whoever I want over. <laughs> she knows how to mind fuck Pete. How do I mind fuck Pete, Curly? What? Fetch my, my delivery! He helped me out a lot too, no bueno. He gave me a lot of money in the past. We need so, to get a I'm bell. Out, yeah. <laughs> Peter, Pete, Peterson. Thank you, Fat Apples, for super chat. Pete's is going to snap on her. It will be game over. Oh, you mean like this? Pete's is like, oh yeah. Peter's gonna be like, you want to get rid of me, Chantel? Is that what you want to do, Chantel? Okay, Chantel. Game over. <laughs> and you know what? To be honest, I'll be here for that. Okay. <laughs> that is when I will go to Canada. I will be front and center for the trial of the century. We'll all be famous. <laughs> so you have to take over the lease. I've always paid the rent. He hasn't paid a fucking dime. Mm -hmm. No, in the beginning, yeah, a little bit. But I always pay the rent. So I guess we have to give a notice. And he'll be moving out and then I'll move out. Oh, you first, Peter. You go first and then me. You first and then me. <laughs> yeah, I would have to transfer the lease to my name. I don't know. I'm not going to bother Get the fuck out, Pete, so the government will pay for my home nurse. <laughs> Lights out, drill instructor. Thank you for the super chat. We appreciate you. Hi, pretty and camo. Okay, maybe just bring wine and put the rest in the freezer for me. Thanks. Just one of the small white wines. Earn your rent, bitch. I can get my own shit out the door, but I won't. Okay. <laughs> Imagine stopping in the middle of harping on throwing out your best friend to summon said best friend to 
fetch the delivery and she can never get rid of her bitch boy. Agreed. It's hilarious, oh, dude. Matter? Never come at you. I love How this How come you don't them? listen to me when I talk? I said I want to be by myself. Okay? Peter the pumpkin eater. <laughs> I don't know. Because How I don't see that it's a big deal. Like Same age Chantel, I think. Not loving who is we when she said we have to give a notice? I think she's talking about her and Pete's. It's legally his apartment and his name on the lease. She said Nodder would have to be approved for the apartment on their own in order. Oh, you know what? Y'all, I never thought about this. Peter needs to be dropped off at the feeder supply store. <laughs> uh, free dog to good home. I never thought about this. So we've been debating about, and maybe y'all said this and I didn't catch it. We've been talking about like them getting approved for a house and an apartment or whatever, her and Nodder. So maybe the problem is, is that Nodder can't get approved because of his background, his criminal history. Because we were even saying, yeah, Chantel's got shitty credit. But dude, like if you're getting a dumpy place, at least over here in the United States of America, money talks, right? And Chantel's got the income for it. She goes and tries to get a dump. You pay a good deposit, good down payment, first month, last month's rent. How much damage can you do to a place like that? You think we was her and not her? Probably. I mean, it could be. I think what happened is they're getting turned down for these apartments because of Nodder's criminal history because he's a violent offender. Oh, my God. I never thought about that. I'm not fucking, I'm fucking gay. 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 Wow. I'm mind blown right now. Where's the fucking emoji for that? Let's see. Is it this one? So that's it. It ain't just because he's a criminal. Like, even if you have a criminal background over here, okay, the course is not Canada, it's America, but, I mean, it just depends on the felony, right? But if you're a violent offender, like, a.k.a. you, um, ahem, <clears throat> they're going to turn you down. They're going to turn you down, right? Like, when we were in the apartment, when Sam moved in with me, she had to get added on and do all the background and criminal history and stuff because they want to know who's living there. Oh, okay. So they have to stay at the villa because they honestly can't. And Nodder is going to be the one mainly there. So Chantel just can't go putting her name on there. And they're going to see that Nodder is constantly the one there. I get it. It makes sense. Okay. Now I'm fa now I'm keeping up, guys. Okay. No matter what you do, let's decide your Okay, Estrella, I'm not throwing out a friend. This is what you guys no are doing wrong, 100%. Allowed. How am I throwing out a friend? What do you mean throwing out? I'm missing it out here, Pete. Yep, exactly, Sinatra Go. says. No security deposit? Yeah, of course, no bueno. What is it because people, you faith? don't feel good mentally if you're not providing for yourself or doing things for yourself. You probably know that, right? So, of course, like, your mental health is worse, but, you know. Hey, look, to be yeah. honest, I get some of y'all are pissed about Chantel given if this was to happen and... Yeah, better crump it. But I mean, I think that she could find ways around that. If she just sold some shitty ass apartment complex or whatever, her income, I think that's all it would take to get her in some place like that, right? For those who are worried about Pete's and who really do care about Peter and whatever, if this happens and if this goes down, let me tell you this much. This will be the best thing that ever happened to Peter. This will force him to get out and be on his own, right? You can think whatever you want to think about Chantel, whatever. I agree with it, I'm sure. He needs to be pushed and forced to get out and do something with his life. Hiding in Chantel's dirty-ass villa every day ain't helping nobody, dude. So be happy that she's going to kick his ass out because he needs it. People are worried about you. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let's slow it down for this. Here comes her best friend who she's kicking out of his apartment. For a degenerate who makes fun of her when they're together. Just watch. So, of course, like, your mental health is worse, but, you know. Yeah. Hey, People are worried about you. I'm I fine. told them you might be moving out. But we're both moving out. I'll be fine, hopefully, maybe. Better all. Better all. I'll be fine, hopefully, maybe. You know, don't worry about me, guys. I might be okay. I might not. Hey, People are worried about you. I'm I fine. I told them you might be moving out. But we're both moving out. I'll be fine, hopefully, maybe. Better I'll, better I'll die in a week. Ha! Huh. Uh, go on me, uh, me for a second. That or I'll die in a week. 
Chantel the squatter. Hopefully, maybe. What the hell are they doing here? There we go. Just watched the new episode of uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Nobody cares. Uh, nurse Chapel is by. Nobody cares. She's a nurse. Uh, she was played in the. So she's like one. Arguably second only to Lucy. So. Don't care. Can, can you. Listen, they think I'm choosing Nadder over you. Can you tell them that point is irrelevant? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Stop the press. What do you mean irrelevant? Wouldn't you want him to say to verify that it's not true? Tell the people that's not what's happening here, okay? You're wanting to say irrelevant. Like, it doesn't matter. That's totally different, Chantel. Totally different. So you are saying that you are choosing Nodder over Pete. So you are confirming that Nodder is coming in to take the place of Pete. That's basically what you just did there. It's irrelevant. You're not telling him to say it's not happening. You're saying to say that it's irrelevant. Go ahead, bitch boy. Say it. <laughs> and, uh, so. Can, can you, listen, they think I'm choosing Nader over you. Can you tell them that point is irrelevant? Haha, <laughs> bye-bye, Pete. Your mooching days are over. No, they're not. He's still mooching. <laughs> <laughs> I am a I have not even begun to mooch. <laughs> He can mooch as long as he wants. Pete's has earned unlimited mooching rights as long as I'm alive, right, Pete? Yeah. It's not mooching. He's which should be which should be what another which should be one another three months. Wow. Holy shit, dude. It's very telling that he asked her to mute in that moment. I agree. <laughs> as long as you're alive. That should be another three oh, months. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. At least three years. Should get pay off the debt by then. So, yes, I, I, uh, you know, we have, no, okay, listen. It very, very, very is weird, love light. <laughs> but, dude, I can't stand Eeyore people. The needy at this is just such annoying and cringe thing to see. Agreed. You know, it's, it is weird to see somebody like Chantel who just will do anything that a man says, will, you know, get rid of their best friend. I'm going to say this, and I've told y'all that I can only speak from a woman's perspective. I only know about other women. I don't know about dudes that do this. None of that shit, okay? This is a thing for women. I know an active woman like this right now, and I sit back and I'm like, holy, I, I'm just like, dude ain't got a job, ain't got a, I ain't got nothing to offer, don't even, it's suspended this, suspended that, like all, and she's just throwing money here, throwing money there. You know, it, it's just, I'm just like, for, for what? Like, what is going, it's another, it's a, it's a Chantel. It's a Chantel situation. She is completely aware that the dude does not love her, right? And that it's basically all financial to him. And it, I'm just like, wow, this is, this is a Chantel situation. No, it's not nobody online. These women exist. It's crazy. I don't understand it. I never will. Does he cook dinner? Absolutely not. Doesn't even cook. This is might cut the grass. <laughs> this with her, her hey, mower and her it. gas. Pete, what? tell people you're okay. Look at my cat. <laughs> Take my cat with you. No, I look at her. her. Look at her. She loves you. I know. Fucking is her good credit. My best yep. efforts. Do you mind just filling up the crunchies again, please? Because oh, I just over here. yeah, I just gave them some this morning, but there's they want some more, I guess. Since I'm over here, you're not. Oh my god. And like you're seeing Chantel, she's always had Pete's get her deliveries and stuff, but now if I feel like she's trying to, you know, direct him more and give him more chores, which he should be doing, agreed a hundred percent, but it doesn't need to be done on camera. It's kind of embarrassing. Could you go could you feed the cats, please, Pete's while I'm live streaming? Just feed the cats, just throw a little bit more kibbles in there. I know they have some, but top it off, why don't you? Go fun Pete. Four of these right on the cats are next. Yep. Why so I don't look like an asshole, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> don't miss you, Pete. He's not going anywhere right now. Jeez. Are you sent me, Pete? I'll, I'll still have my own channel. And we're we'll going to see each other all the time. Like, if he when he moves out, he's going to be, like, close by. And I'm going to see him. So remember, we had we did dinner dates at least once a week. I took you for groceries yeah. and we did dinner. And that was our thing. Yeah. He doesn't see me much here when I'm here anyway. I just kind of, just kind of want, you know... He, you even said you figured that, right? That I would want some kind of life yeah. on my own with some men eventually <laughs> or something. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
look at her drinking straight out the bottle. Can't even bother to get a wine glass, dude. Just straight out the bottle, bitch. I'm surprised she ain't got a paper bag around that motherfucker. And you don't have to stress. Keep I will be old school, Chantel. Chantel, are you listening? I know you like to tune in during the morning times, morning hours. Would you put a brown paper bag over the wine bottle next time? Please and thank you. A hundred percent with you. Dawn, this is not for now. This is for me. Don't you guys see that? I want... Don't you guys see? Look. I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you guys. Hold on. I'm not fucking, fucking gay. gay. gay, 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 gay. You can't look. The next soundbite I'm going to put on the board is, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you. Hold on while you're battling addiction. Somebody write that down and remind me. Do you think this is a bad idea? Let him take Sam? No! Ready, set, rebees. Oh, thank you. I don't think he, Sam would like that too much. Sam would be really... Do you see how much Sam loves me? I'm shocked, to be oh, honest. Guys, we can't live together for... I don't want to live together forever and ever and ever. I don't think. Hi, Sam! Here you go! Come here! But I will say this much. As much shit as I want to give Pete's for being his own person and being his own dude and getting his own finances and shit together, look... Obviously, they, these two characters obviously have their own issues or whatever. You you got to make up your mind, Chantel. Here's where you're fucked up, okay? Because before you met Nodder, when you were fresh onto your live streaming bullshit and you created your uh, the Pete's and Chantel show and you told him, I don't know how new a lot of you are, but two years ago, right at the beginning, are we going on two years or is it just a year? When Chantel was transitioning from mukbangs in the, her live streaming show that she does now, um, she created, she changed her channel name from, I don't know, it was the eating show, the foodie be, I don't know. But she changed her name, her channel name, and it was the Pete's and Chantel show, I think. And she even told Pete, she looked at Pete, she was like, hey, I want this, I want our, this channel to be something that me and you do, you know? And she, and this was a thing, like, she had said this several times, like, me and Pete's are lifelong partners. I don't even see myself ever having sex again. She said these words. You can probably go back and find it on her channel. I don't see myself even having sex again. Like, I'm so uninterested in sex. She had her hysterectomy. She just was not into dudes. She was not into dating. She was not into any of that, Frank, right? And she told Pete, she looked at Pete's and she said it was a year ago. She said, hey, you know, I think, because Pete's was working his job or whatever, she goes, I think I just want you to start transitioning in from you doing your job into me and you running this channel together, right? This was going to be her and Pete's, that was going to be their thing. They got this apartment together. They were going to be live streaming all the time. And that she was so excited to be away from BB because that's why I don't believe that she took that BB breakup hard because she really wanted to get away from BB because BB didn't like being on camera. He didn't want to be a part of the YouTube shit. He knew it was cringy. He, he just didn't want any part of that. So when she moved in with Pete, she was really excited because Pete's loved being on camera. Pete's loved being on camera. So she was all for it. And she told Pete, you're going to quit your job. We're going to do YouTube together. We're going to be lifelong buddies, partners. We're going to always live together. We always got each other's back this that and the other and it wasn't until she met up with uh, a, a member or a, I don't even know if she had members at that time it was fucking Frank Frank got in her car and man he sent her to insanity to a place we never thought any nobody had this in the cards nobody nobody had this not nobody we didn't see this coming dude we were all shocked when it happened. I even died on a hill and said Nodder didn't exist for a long, 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 long time, right? So my point is, is that you can't constantly go back and forth. Like, I get it. You might change your mind. You say, you know what? Maybe I do want to find me a man and settle down and have a family or, you know, whatever. You know, like, I, I won't fault her for that, but that's not what's happening. She goes back and forth and back and forth. Okay, Pete, you got to go. And then when Nodder pisses her off, you know what, Pete's no, me and you together forever. So that's where, you know, you're going to trigger motherfuckers. So you either want to be this dude's lifelong partner or whatever, or you don't. You can't just keep going back and forth with people. And you definitely can't keep going back and forth because of some other fucking bum that don't care anything about you, man.
It's not right. That's where I somewhat, somewhat feel sorry for Peter. But still, like I said, never, even if you've got yourself a lifelong partner or somebody that you plan on being with forever, you still need to be prepared for the worst. You never know what a motherfucker will do. You just don't. At the end of the day, you don't know what somebody else will do. Teddy. I'm not abandoning my best friend. Oh, yes. I gave him a good brushing. And your appointment's tomorrow, stupid. Yeah. Less your than 24 hours, hours. Stupid. Yep. I don't know if he's going to fit in the carrier. I might have to go buy a new one tomorrow. Oh, actually, I could probably... Do you think that Amberlynn Reed and Becky would do it all different if they could? They have both suffered monetarily since splitting. Wonder if this will happen to Chinny. Yeah, well, okay. Do I think that... I think that Amberlynn... I don't know. See, and here's the thing about Amberlynn. Becky, I know Becky... I, I think 100% that Becky regrets breaking up with Amber. This did not work out the way that she thought it was going to work out. I don't... I think now that she's away from Amber, I think she's realizing maybe it wasn't so bad living with Big Mama. As far as Amber, yes, Amber's channel has definitely went down in views and all that shit, but she could change that if she wanted to. She could definitely... Um, you know, bring wifey on camera, and I think the views would start to spike back to where she was at when she was with Becky. Will she do that? I don't know. But but Amber, like bringing Becky back in or Becky, I don't think that changes anything for Amber. For Becky, yes, I think Becky would go back to you know would regret being with Amber. But does Amber regret what happened with Becky? No. That's what I say. He needs a lion cut. I got a lot of the max out. Look at him. How smooth he looks. Yes. You see? Do you think he still needs to go? Probably. Yes, he needs yeah, to you go. Are gonna kill me. So does BBJ. Very good. I cut out. His pee's moving. We don't know yet what's happening. And this has nothing to do with Nadra. I haven't even talked to him about this at all. He doesn't know. Take your damn cat to the. Do you want to go to the doctor's? Okay. Okay. I can't say anything bad about wifey. I mean, I don't watch Amberlynn that much, but when I do, I don't get, I don't get the same vibes from Wifey, and that could be because she's not on camera and shit, as I did from Becky. From Becky, I got that she was a full user to every extent that you could think of. Like, all Becky wanted to do was not work, okay? I don't really know a whole lot about Wifey's situation and everything, so I don't get the same vibes from Wifey. I mean, yeah, of course, there are benefits of being with Amberlynn Reed. <laughs> Okay, they're there. I just don't see it as the same. Maybe not yet. Maybe I'm not invested yet to see that. So is this really happening or is she backtracked already? As per usual, I've watched nothing. Lindsay, I think she backtracks before this video goes off. Amber is respecting wifey's decision and privacy. I can respect that. I can too. She's not forcing her to get on camera. And I think Amber knows if she was to bring wifey on camera, her views would go up. Is she paused or what? Uh, well, Chantal, those are things I have to learn to do on my own. Another thing I need to learn to do on my own. Matter will be gone in a week. You were caught. What? Lolo. Pete's has always been your safe space. Not a great idea. Got my starfish badge. Lolo, ready, set, repeat. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let's see those people. Then went over to his channel and blabbed their fat mouths. What? Oh. Pete lives to suckle on Chantel Teat another day. <laughs> this seems to be a really big deal. <laughs> you guys just automatically I mean, assume Panda, that. that make, I mean, in my opinion, that doesn't make um, Wifey more of a user than Becky because she was a viewer and, and kind of came in when Becky left. Maybe Wipey had some kind of crush on Amber while she watched her and said, okay, now Becky's gone. I'm going to shoot my shot. I don't mean, I don't see that there's any evidence that she's a, more of a user than Becky was. I don't know if I agree with that, but I respect your opinion. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. What's the fake word? That's what I thought. Yes, too, 
the burp. <laughs> Chantel, she, that's all she does is Okay, burp here's the deal. Bark. Not the whole truth. <laughs> it was in the back of my mind that he would be able to come over. But... See? You no good, dirty, rotten son of a biscuit you are. Back it up. You're willing to throw it all away with you and Peter so Nodder can come over, not even move in, but come over. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Fake worm. Hi, Sam. Okay, here's the deal. I want the whole truth. <laughs> it was in the back of my mind that he would be able to come over. But... So sad to see Pete's go. But that's what I don't want it to be a sad thing. I don't want it to be a thing that happens if he's not okay with it. <laughs> Rest in peace. I want it to be like I was thinking more along the lines of him getting his own. It would be so much easier for him to go first and get like his own place because he would just be. Hey, Pete, why don't you just move out? It's obvious that this woman does not want you there no more. And I or, or make Chantel move out, right? Or some something needs to be done. Say, okay, Chantel. You don't want me living here anymore. It's in my name. Let's go over to the leasing office. Let's give a, give a move out date. If you want to take over this villa, put your name on a lease and I'll go. Obviously, she does not want to live with you anymore, right? It's obvious. Somebody make a fucking move here. Living in like a room somewhere, like, you know? <sighs> Goddamn, what speed are we on? 1.25? How'd that happen? Lord, because no bueno, Pete's a grown man. He's not normal. He's got issues. Like I do. Like, God, he, you know, I don't want him, I want him to be okay. But I think you're right in a way that I think that, like, exposure therapy for him will be better. Because he did live on his own before. I know he can do it. I would never put him through something I didn't think he could handle. Like, that's where you guys are wrong, and that's what pisses me off. Yeah. I just don't know, like... She could just put him down. I'm not throwing away my friend. My friend <laughs> will be close by and cared for, still by me. Oh, the yellow and I will see him at least once a week. I mean, I don't really hang out with him much here anyway. I'm always gone or always somewhere else or hanging out with other people. You push her down the stairs. Yeah, I read Vicky's comment. I really, really, if Natter, even if Natter, okay, let's just pretend Natter doesn't exist for a minute, okay? Like, Natter is an extra thing. So let's pretend Natter's not here. Like, if I really, really wanted to be with, not live with Natter, gay. I would be getting an apartment with him in Montreal, no problem right now. Like, no problem. I would probably, you know, like, whatever. We would That's be not sure we done figured it out. Y'all can't get an apartment because of Natter's violent history, Chantel. We got you figured out. Chammy Slayton, Chantel can have men over while living with Pete. She just can't have Nodder over. And that's the whole catalyst for her moving so she can have men over. Yep, 100%. Be together. We would be living together. I'm not. I'm here. <laughs> and I don't want, I don't want to live in Montreal. And it's not that I just, I, I just want to live. I don't want to live. I know we, we couldn't live together. I want to just, well, I don't know. I want to live by myself and just like, you know, have my own space. Sorry, really tired as fuck. You're still not in my block she list. She wants so I have to run a whorehouse is what she wants to do. She wants to be able to have Nodder and random weird men from the internet come over. I'm, I'm all for that. Pete, pack a bag and get the fuck out. We are so bored with the same shit. You need to go, Pete. Put a one in the chat if you're ready for Pete to get the fuck out. Sayonara, Peter. I'm not kicking out. I asked him if he would be okay moving. If we're both going to move out, I'm not going to live here that long either because of the situation. And it's not my place. Like, I pay the rent, but I'm going to tell the office, like, we're planning on moving or whatever eventually. <sighs> no, Abro. Estrella, he cannot pay the rent here. <laughs> Ever. Like, he can't. He cannot live here. The, the place should not be in his name, period. He cannot pay the rent. <laughs> what a crackhead scary. Crack I don't know. Well, it's decided, Pete. Jen, Pack your, your bag, place and I don't end up moving into it. If you really want it to be about having your own space, wait till never gets his own place. Ready, set, rebees, Jen. The cleaning fees? <laughs> yes, butter crumpet. You have to clean everything when you move. <laughs> Madame so that's what's happening. I'm not. Chantel's gonna be a madam. 
I have a crack as a crack. Chantel's not going to move out, JD. She would never move out. It takes too much work for her to move out. She wants Pete's to move out. She's going to try to have the uh, office people put her name on the lease. They're not going to do it. That is a place where you have to pass a credit check, I'm sure. Chantel does not have the credit for it, nor does she have proof of income other than a couple bank statements, and they're not going to accept that. So I don't know what the fucking plan is. All you're doing now is having Pete sit in his room, and he's uh, sharpening his... um. <clears throat> I'd shut up, Chantel, if I was you, okay? It ain't happening. Just something I'm thinking about. He can't afford it. He needs to go. You can't pay the bills here, Peter. <sighs> hey, Auntie M. What? I don't really want to live without Pete. I do, but I don't. Like, I kind of want to live alone, but I don't. Oh, Faith, hi! Mm -hmm. No, he's not even moving in here. Go ask him, he's not. He'll say no. Hi. Oh my god! He wants a miscado, you're so cute. I could never give him to Pete. Look, he loves me. He never goes in Pete's room. Yes, you love me. I love that you waited until the rental. I'm paying the rent. Rude. So don't worry about it. I'm paying Pete's rent. He wants to think I'm just gonna have a bunch of men over all the time. What if I just want my own space? It is time to get him off the teat, kick him out. <laughs> not kicking him out. This is not like that. Thank you for the super chat. So you want to be like D2 with your own condo. Well, yeah, I kind of want my own space. What's wrong with that, Mark? <laughs> Why is that a problem? She wants to be able to offer Nodder what Didi's offering him. Love that for you all. I would be paying his bills. Pizza's bills. It would be like 700 everything included. So big deal. Peter's going to Gypsy Rose Chantel. Tallulah, I'm not kicking anyone over the other. <laughs> Thank you, Danny Jean. Yeah, what exactly what she's going to end up doing is she's going to fuck up both of their credit. When it comes down to it, neither one of these morons can get a place to live. Tractor Goose, yes. Tell Pete to make an Amazon wish list. Yes, I'm helping him paying for his new room. He's working, but he doesn't make that that much. So just till he can find something. Dude, yeah, everyone wants a place of their own to have. Exactly, very good. We would kill each other. We're not gonna live. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god. No, I mean, maybe, I don't know. There's two bedrooms, but I'm moving out. Like, he needs to grow his YouTube, right? SJAM. So, oh, hold on. I got a question about this SJAM. I thought SJAM disappeared in Chantel's chat. Now, all of a sudden, they're back. And also, SJAM, I'm browsing over Chantel's chat. They have um, direct communication to Chantel. Is that also right? That's correct, too, right? I know what his fucking name is. Are you kidding me? I know all things Chantel. Get out of my face. I like to call him Peter. Get over it. I think I might have heard Sam calling him that. I don't know, but it stuck. Um, this SJAM, right? That's the person who gave Chantel all the money, all the super chats, like $500, $1,000, one month am i right about that now all of a sudden i thought they went away and now they're back talking about pick up your phone answer your phone talk to me or some shit like that yeah fucking freak how many months oh, until this happens hold on let's just do things? this SJAM is not Karate Joe. Karate Joe doesn't have a pot to piss in. No way do I believe that. She sees how much income she has lost and is still willing to roll the dice. Homeless arc incoming. Love that for us. I love that for us too, Clout. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> That's right. Bad no, apples. I don't want that. That's not going to happen, Australia. Thank you, Susan. Don't you forget it. Don't fence me in. Okay, SJM gave her a ton of money and she gave her WhatsApp. SJM is not Karate Joe. Karate Joe is poor. Yeah, Karate Joe's poor. When Karate Joe's docs came out all over the Kiwi farms, 
you could, that's exactly why he never signed up for a membership because probably he don't even have a fucking debit card. Bum. No, of course I do not. I don't think he would want to live here. Uh, I don't think Nader would, would want to move back here. He really, I've said, like, would you ever consider moving back in Gatineau? Like, he was like, no, like, Montreal's way better. He really wants to live in Montreal. Wow. So I don't know if he would even, like, you know. <laughs> Hi, Chubby McSeuse. McChubby. He's doing this and he doesn't even know that she's kicking Pete's out for him. Boos. Ottawa does that. McChubby McSeuse. McChubby McBoos. Nader loves Montreal, yeah. Here's what I want for Chantel. Okay, guys, this is what I want for Chantel. I want Chantel to rehome Pete's. I want for her to tell Nodder, hey, Pete's is gone. Why don't you come over here to stay with me? And I want Nodder to say, uh, no thanks. I'm staying here in Montreal with Dee Dee. And I want Chantel to have to walk up and down those steps to get her own Uber Eats delivery every single time that doorbell rings. I want her to live there in her filthy squalor all alone, okay? I love that for her. I love that for us. I don't know, like, I think he just really wants to just live in Montreal. Gatineau has a lot of bad memories for him because of you, Foodie Beauty. No, Karate yeah. Joe's out. Likewise. Oh, babysitting that shit. McChubby McSeuse. McChubby McBoose. McChubby McShoes. McChubby McBoose. Oh, there's Prime Minister. Matter loves Dee Dee. What place can you get without Pete's credit? Slumark. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't have the best credit. So I don't know. Slum, I guess. I mean, and here's the thing. Just because you don't have good credit doesn't mean that you can't fix it. You want to explain to me why this woman right here in this disgusting, dirty apartment that she's in right now, who's made, I'm going to say up to $15,000 a month, has no children, no dependents, just her, just herself, has not tried to repair her credit. Credit's fixable. It's not like you have bad credit and that's the end of it. That That's it. You've got bad credit. Never again will you be able to get anything. Credit is repairable. You can take care of it and you can actually get it cleaned up pretty quickly. You can make things move along if you know what you're doing, Right. And all she, I just got, I just got bad credit, bad credit, bad credit. And I get that, you know, it's, it's different when, you know, you're on a budget and you're, you know, you've got to make sure that you get mortgage payments, grocery payments, and you've got everything, but it's really hard to try to fix your credit when you're in situations like that, when you're really on a budget, a tight budget, especially if you got kids, right? It's hard to give a credit uh, person $50 here, $50 there or to pay off a debt that you had that you know for whatever reason you couldn't pay off right it's really hard to do that but in her situation she has all the opportunity to make it better it's all fixable don't ever let bad I got bad credit discourage you it's all fucking fixable it is there are videos out there that will show you how to do it there are websites out there dedicated to it you can even hire someone which I would not recommend but there are ways to make things right Nully Cat, thank you so much for a super chat. We appreciate you. And here she sits, not probably hasn't even thought about repairing her credit. She's like, I just got bad credit. Ooh, putting on her lipstick. Dirt. I just, I don't plan on living here either, so I don't know. I don't really want to. I think I would miss living with Pete's, though. Hey! Sorry. Excuse me, please yeah, stop Yeah, exactly. Dispute it. Dee could go sign. What kind of fuck up crap is this? I need to get healthy financially and in my health and everything. Exactly, Tasha. <sighs> no, I edited this video. You should see it. It's really good. I did a good job. So. Okay, that's so awesome. <laughs> it can be done. Anybody can have good credit. Your credit went up 200 points when you got <laughs> the divorced. The comments are brutal. <laughs> Love that. Wow, an 820? Sometimes things like that can be intimidating Not to people. Faith, are you booing Natter? And you Let's get, I think you get, what is it, one credit? 
uh, one free credit check per year from all three of the um, um, reporting agencies, at least over here in the States. Yeah, it's all fixable, and it's not hard to do. Just take your time. It's like a Tasha, I think it was Tasha that said in the chat, you can look at it online, you can dispute stuff, you can make payments, you can fix it, right? You Don't be a Chantel. Oh my god, you lost a ton of weight. Kudos. Really? Thank you. Thank you, Pondu, Pondu. Make chubby McBoos. Make chubby McToos. Make chubby McBoosh. Well, so you know, JD, I get that. You know, so, but sometimes, like, things just happen like, for people. Thing. A lot of things unexpected in your life, you know. It's not always people just don't want to pay their bills. I know a, lo a lot of that might be the situation, but a lot of times shit just happens in life. Exactly, Plutes Magoot. She pays no taxes and free health care. Agreed. Yeah, that's right, because he doesn't do anything for me, really. <laughs> I know, but Pete's is still a better supportive person. Mr. in the Attic even brags about his secure credit cards. Anyone can have good credit. Well, obviously, Mr. in the Attic does not have good credit because secure credit cards are for people who are rebuilding credit. So the way the secured credit card works, let's say... Um, you're, you're brand new to credit. Like when you turn 18 or if you've just never had credit in your life, you might want to get a secured credit card. And how those works is um, you, you pay them. You can get them for $100, $300, $500. You give them, you give the credit card money and they give you a credit card. And then you use, you know, you use it throughout the month or whatever. And then you make payments and that increases your credit score. Secured credit card, I'm pretty sure almost anybody can get. And that helps build your credit. I don't think I can live without Pete now. I think we're stuck together. Pete! Who's trolling her saying she lost weight? I came to an important realization in my life. I don't think I can live without you. Your credit went up 63 points. Yeah, credit will go up and it'll go up quick. Thank you, Shelly, for being a member for five months. We appreciate you. I want the crackhead and Dee Dee to get married. The meltdown would be epic. I would be here for that all day, every day. I just want something different. I don't care what it is, but this same Groundhog Day bullshit, like, come on, make a move, somebody. <laughs> yeah, we have to be living together forever. Or were you looking forward to that? Did, uh, did you realize that you have to do the litter box yourself? <laughs> yeah. and this, and I know we're talking about credit instead of Chantel, but here I will say this. It costs more to be poor than it does to be rich, right? When, when you're poor and when you got bad credit and when you don't make a whole lot of money, your interest rates and everything are going to be, like, you're going to pay way more. Let's say if you've got bad credit, you know, and somebody uh, has good credit, you're going to pay, and y'all both went out and bought a mower, right? You're going to pay more than the person with the good credit because your interest and everything is going to be more expensive. And then, like, a bunch of other stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, who's going to go get your pay every Who's going to pick up your paneer if I move out? Yeah, and you're just like always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never yell at me ever. And like, uh, you're just, you know. You feel like home. <laughs> Alyssa, I can't believe how much weight you lost, right? Are you okay? Really? I've been eating wow. with a fucking pig. Maybe I, something's wrong, I don't know. Okay, so let's just like, we're like. Yeah, so I'm not, so that means if I ever get in a relationship, I guess. Is that from Ren and Cynthia? It's not. Oh. Finding up our tapeworms? Yeah. It's a really good story. <laughs> I mean, most most of Kids and Halls gets uh, really good. I told people who you voted for. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, so I was, uh, before before I went in, I was, uh, I was sort yep, of MC split between be NDP and Communist Party, but turns out Communist Party... We don't care! Where's that damn clip from just saying, from Eric? We don't care! I don't want to hear about who you voted for in Canada. Oh, God. Go away, Pete's. Shouldn't you be looking for somewhere to live? Find a suitcase, something? Hi. Hi. On a dark desert highway, blowing in my hair. Warm you realize they can both see it. Pin your juice. <laughs> Warm smell of Kalitas. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, shut up, Julia. Why are you still here, Julia? I would not kick Pete out. <sighs> miss Tian. No, I would not, miss. Cool went through my pie hat. Warm smell of her junk and farts. 
So this is about matter and y'all No, it's not. I will always live with kids. Wait. It was about living alone. Wait. Wait. Why do you do this? Just why? It makes no sense. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, shut up, Julia. Why are you still here, Julia? I would not kick Pete out. Miss Yan, no, I would not, miss. Cool went through my pie hat. Warm smell of her and farts. I mean, I vote Peter. Y'all can call me what you want. I like Peter. So this is about matter and y'all are to No, it's not. I will always live with kids. It was about living alone, mostly. For real. I was supposed to maybe get a place for it with him in Montreal and I backed out because... I kindly declined. I just, you know, he's cool with living with like roommates sometimes, but I thought it would be more affordable for me because I wanted to spend some time with him repairing our relationship and doing some vlogs and stuff like that. And it's a lot cheaper to have like a studio than renting apartment, than renting these fucking gross hotels all the time, guys. Like, you know, like we would split on a place. That's what the arrangement was going to be, like roommates, like for real. Like I would just go there like for a couple days out of the week, like maybe on weekends. And like we would, I would film for him and then I would go back when I'm at home, I would edit. It would be like that and it would be like no strings. Like he can do what he wants. I can see a motorcycle guy or I can see people, anybody I want. And that would help because I would have, you know, other people, you know, like it would be some kind of a t some kind of um, functioning I'm thing. sorry to hear that, Brandy. Why am I delusional? You don't think that will work? <laughs> no, I'm curious why. I'm, I'm open to your bullshit. opinions because this is like something, these are decisions in life that I really want to make the right one about, you know? Nope, nope, nope. Why not? They're full Christian because, uh, names. <laughs> It's true. You, know, you were the first one that started calling hot plate Catherine. <laughs> see other people. Well, that's what the thing I would I would be seeing other people. But right now, yeah, I'm not interested in it. It's not something I'm. One point seven five. Yeah. Just because I don't know. He he can do what he wants. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yes, guys, like up the stream. No, Hell, like, yeah, <laughs> this is not Wayne Gretzky wine. This what is else delicious are you doing Moscato. Right now? You should be hitting the thumbs up. Okay, come on now, damn it. It's just a click away. It's just a click away. Hi, Brie. He's gonna do what he wants. Yeah, that's true. Can we get some tears to go with that there? Hey, Desi. Rant, Chantel. Moscato was really good. Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> You only refer to Negs as either Mr. and his really mom's like addict or sexually. Ronald. That's I don't, it. can't be in a committed relationship with him. I realize that. Like, 100%. Even though it kills me a little bit, I'm, I'm okay. God, you fucking moron. You can't be in a committed with, relationship with someone who won't be in a committed relationship with you. Ugh. With it now. I broke down <laughs> about it. I accepted it. It can't be. Because it just, it, it can't. It's like this. No, he can't be in a committed relationship with Exactly. <laughs> he can't be either. We both can't. When does he ever have Kiki? <laughs> I don't think that is her actual name. The Kalahandra? I don't think, no, I don't think that's her name. That's just something that Sam made up, but it's great, isn't it? So if you walk in on it. The Kalahandra! I told Sam the only way I'm going to react to Amber Lynn is if I watch Callie reacting to Amber Lynn. I think it'd be a good time. What says you people? I'm going to Pound Town. Oh. In your business studio! <laughs> <laughs> oh god you're right this whole thing is so fun oh that fits two plutes why do i still hang on i can't okay well there's three names you can call uh, him then i don't know i like miss him after a while sofa no one better come for faith man i like to protect my beezers so please respect each other you're all in the same club here thank you i really i don't want to be in a committed relationship like because that's not who he is i sense the life in him he's so full of it like when you're around him like you guys really would have to Pretty much as Jim. Like, he's, yes, he's very, like, sexual, has a wandering eye. Of course I know that about him. That's why I can't be with someone like that. He denies it. He denies it. Whatever. I, I can't fucking do it. But but he's fun to be around sometimes. Like, really fun. And, you know. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I got, me and our lady Chantel have that Alex glitter shit queen so triggered She's going over to the degenerate. Um, how would I even... Do we have a nickname for him? What is the nickname that we have for the reaction channel that gets really triggered at me because I said one thing about him and said that their channel fucking sucks? That fucking creep dude. 
that big fat fatty that got caught out and uh, exposed for what he is. She's over there in his comments, dude. I fucking was on the floor dead. My God, have some self worth, woman. <sighs> I don't want to be with suck him. To suck that way, I don't glitter shit. Right yeah. She wakes up in the morning. She's like, "Who's on the internet today? You shouldn't be here. I'm gonna file a complaint." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, bunny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fucking freaking nature. What is it with Canada and freaks of nature, man? Maybe. Maybe that too, Nomad, but. You it was just about money for him. He could easily be with Dee Dee, right? She's, she's better with her money. And he's already there. Oh, yeah, Convenient. Crumpet. Yeah, that's right. That's right. She even pinned a few of his uh, super chats. Love that for her. It's because he loves me. <laughs> well, you are the company you keep. I'm kidding. <laughs> so far, what is up? I'm drinking Moscato, but I'm drinking it slow. Look at it. Let me drink it faster. Oh, that's good. You know what you need, foodie beauty? You need a fucking funnel. Give this bitch a funnel. <laughs> What that funnel with that rope or whatever and goes into her mouth so she can sit there and funnel that wine. I mean, hello, Beezers. You want to encourage her to drink? Make her do it right, goddammit. We ain't got all day. Yeah, Let's so we'll speed this up. Her, okay, Layla, can you calm the fuck down? Thanks. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> The booze arc? I feel like I'm trying to escape reality, SJM. I don't think so, Ingrid. I just admit you only want you and Nat are together forever. In a perfect world, maybe. <laughs> I shan't tell there, but why do you I think I'm not there her. now? Yeah. Uh, I know, I'm so bad. We're not together right now, he knows that too. Oh, Our Lady Chantel, only Alex Glitter shit can call other people out. They're not allowed to call her out. Or she gets super mad in your feelings and she's going to go report you to the YouTubes and the Twitters. Because you can't make fun of her. And you can't make fun of her friends. Even though her friends are cows. You can't do that. They can only pick on people and call people out, okay? And they are the ones that report to YouTubes and the Twitters. Fucking losers. Yeah, strawberries. I have, I have Roscado, I think, downstairs. Like, imagine, shut up, Chantel, imagine being that much of a fucking loser that you wake up in the morning and the first thing you fucking do is get on Twitter and see who's talk shit about you and your friends so you can go report them to the authorities or so you can make Twitter thads to get people thrown off the internet. They're like the fucking internet police, dude. Oh, fucking snitching ass motherfuckers. You know, I'd give my left nut to come on cam and be myself and make a living. Yeah, really. Well, that's I'm what I'm trying to do. Go. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm being honest. No matter what I'm honest about, I'm hated for and called a liar. Like, if I tell you I love him. She's an internet hall yeah. monitor. Yep. <laughs> if I give him shit and I rip him apart, you love me. Yeah, Sarah Jane, it is a high cost. Karen behavior. Yeah. It's a very high cost. <laughs> but why? Karen. Well, okay, here's a good one. From now on. Alex glitter shit will only be known as Karen glitter shit. Okay, if you, if you hear somebody talking about a Karen glitter shit, we know who you know who we're talking about. I know, I know, I know, I know. Hey, anyway, little we're just right now, so. Look, regardless of my feelings for him, I've realized I have to just be alone. Hey, Chris, and I mean Hansen. that. I mean, you guys don't believe that. <laughs> That's okay? why I'm alone now, well, and I hope up. that put a straw on the wine. Yeah. What happened, Thank you, Chris? girl. I appreciate you not hating me. <laughs> I don't fuck my friends. I missed it. <clears throat> Some people do. Oh, Some people do. Sorry, Chris. Don't fucking down us, man. Friends with benefits? Oh my god, is that how right? she got her name? Really? That's how she came up with the Alex Glitter Queen? Is because she sent a fucking glitter bomb to Hot Plate? Number one, who would waste the money and resources? Bitch, we know you don't work. You spend all your time online for free at that. Get out of my face, Karen. 
Do I have, oh, it's a shadow? Like, do I have dirt on my fucking thing? Another sleeps with all his friends and acquaintances, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, that's who he is, I guess. I don't know. Thank you, Marcy, and thank you for being a member for 10 months. We appreciate talk about him. you. He can't defend himself right now. Okay, here, you got me through some hard times over the years. Really triggered, Andy? Tell me about that. Thank you. I always hear very negative. It's nice to hear positive. <laughs> nobody hates me? Like, nobody really? No, everybody does. I feel hated. Literally. Right the entire internet, Chantel, okay? Let's scoot you on along to when Chantel gets her next takeout delivery. P! Peter! I'm gonna need you to go get my delivery! My delivery is here! <laughs> <clears throat> I've been touching grass a lot. I've started an event to meet with a woman's group and to hike and to make real friends. Glitter shit should get out more. Sushi, yes. Living the life, girl. Love to hear it. I sense the life in him. Yeah, <laughs> life sentence. Katie, thank you for the super chat. What's going on with this? Why is it taking, why is it just spinning? What's wrong with the internet, Sam? What'd you do up there? Oh, gee golly. Oh, good golly. Hold on, please. What kind of sick game is this? Let's see. Hold on. That is cooler than your freaking glasses, Jammy. Look at this view, <laughs> would you? Okay. And just because you're not, you think you're not, glasses are cool, doesn't make you a better person. Jammy, <laughs> you body joined me like these, yeah. Have a fucking mind. God damn it, stop turning black. Oh my god, is she eating? What is she eating? So we got he just bolted in here. Oh right my god, first. here it is. In case he says no, I'm gonna mute it. She's hollering for Peter to go get the food, and she's gonna, in case he says no, I'm gonna mute it. I have missed you all this week. I've been sleeping late because of COVID. TGIF, everyone. Just Jamie. Thank you so much for being a member for 10 months and hang in there. Hold on a second. No, it didn't go off, Sam. The video just went and load. God, keep up. You're outside. <laughs> I should bring up the ring doorbell and look at you. I don't give a shit if they fuck number one fan. I'm gonna be fucking whoever I want. Like, I made it. I broke. I said, like, we agreed. Like, we're not. No, we're nothing. Together. We're not together. We're not together. We're not together, I really guys. don't care. I don't care who he sleeps with. And then, like, two okay. months later, no, or a week later... He cheated on me. You guys thought we were together. Let's make together? Mom's we were together. Yeah. What do you think? I'm tired. Hold on. This is Sam Cam. <laughs> she would kill me. Why is she making it go black? We want to see him bring in the food. Damn it. Okay. Why? Are they, okay. What is it? Thir is it Thursday? Have your man back. We're trying to get I'm to the delivery, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Yay. With love. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So can I. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Yay. Look at that. Just look at that bag of goodies that Pete's is bringing in, huh? Take a gander. So can I. <laughs> look, there he can. Look, look, Yay. look at that, would ya? What, how much, how, how many deliveries has Chantel had to, today on top of the drive throughs that she's been through? No joke, my mom was standing in line one time and an employee came up to her and asked her to move to the side because she was blocking the internet. <laughs> I'm dead, Katie. Thank you for being a member for two months. Ten months, we appreciate you. Hold on. I'm not fucking I'm gay. gay. gay, 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 gay. What she get? Hold on, pineapples. We're gonna get to what she got. We're gonna get to how much she paid for it. Okay. Simmer down. Hey. Woo! That's what we got. He just bolted into your room. What does he have to do? He bolted into your room. Look at, look at those two trash bags full of trash. You know, if I seen this two black trash bags in somebody's bedroom, I would think, oh, they must be cleaning out their closets, donating some clothes, some sweaters to the goodwill, things that don't fit. I would never, ever in a million years walk into somebody's bedroom and think that was two bags full of trash. And then to look out on our balcony and see the stacks upon stacks upon stacks 
of trash bags, and it all came from her bedroom. If you see how much Chantel eats online and how many deliveries that she has online and how many drive throughs that she hits up online, do you think that she's just eating online? These trash bags are not just food that she's eaten while she's online, right? And you're like, well, of course she doesn't eat all her food online. That's, that's a ridiculous statement. Chantel live streams just yesterday alone, six hours a day. She's usually live every time she eats. So just think about what she's eating offline, what she won't show us. That's what always, that's always my go-to. I can't believe this woman will sit here on camera and shit her pants and eat the way that she eats on camera. Imagine what she's, in, if there is a thing in Chantel's mind that she will not show us. There is stuff that she does that she will not show us. She wants us to believe that she's willing to show everything. But believe me, you, there are shit that Chantel does in her daily life as far as what she eats that she's not willing to show us, right? Just think about that. Can I get a link to become a channel member, please? High school skinny. Yes, you can. It's at the very top of the chat. I got it linked at the very top. Thank you so much for the super chat, and I appreciate you. <laughs> I mean, you can just. Uh, I'm just lying when go there. Yeah, I got you. Pop a couple of raisins. Thanks. Yeah. Don't get me started Thanks. on gas. Oh look! Oh look! Her son got his snacks too. Hold on. Well, I want mine too, Mom. I brought it up to you. Can I have mine too? There you go. Yeah. We got to roll around the house. Like, if we go somewhere and we stop somewhere and get food or drinks or whatever, if you don't go, you don't get, right? Pizza's like, Mommy, I went downstairs and I got it for you. Do I get something too? Well, of course you do. Hold on. Let me get your snacks too, Peter. Oh, oh you got you a crush. Oh, here you go, Peter. Here you go. Got your red soda pop. Hmm. Three ninety a gallon, uh, Elizabeth. Where the hell you live at? We're paying five dollars a gallon now. Got you some chips. Got you a crush. High school skinny. Welcome to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining, and we appreciate you. I fucking hate pussy. I don't. I'm not fucking gay. I'm not fucking gay. Thanks. Is this is this like a thing that people do? I, I get it. I, we've talked about the Uber Eats and the delivery apps and things like that. And I totally understand that for, you know, people who, you know, don't drive, you know, people who are disabled, maybe just can't get out, can't cook for themselves. It's, you know, it's really a help for them to have it delivered. Lots of different reasons that you would have food delivered, right? I don't get it because it's just way too expensive for me. I can't imagine paying double right especially if i'm capable of you know driving there and picking up the food that's just me personally i don't get that but i get that some that is some people's go-to right i totally get it but to have gas station snacks delivered to your door is that something that people really fucking do i'm absolutely mind blown that people would pay Money, not, I mean, this is not a meal. This is gas station snacks. Door dashing snacks is next level fat. These, yes, agreed. It's just next level, like you said. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And, hey, I guess I'm not hating on anybody. Do what you got to do, but how could you afford to, you know? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Do you think that she tips her drivers? Sydney, we're going to get to what Chantel does as far as tipping and um, how she pays for her Uber Eats. That sh it's probably God no telling what she pays a month, right? Well, we're going to talk about that. Let's let's get through this. Abby, baby, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't, I mean, come on. If you need snacks that bad that you need to have them Uber delivered, whatever, you don't need them. This, this is me as a fatty telling you, my fellow fatties, we don't need this, okay? As fat people, we need to do better. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed as a fellow fucking fatty. It's embarrassing. Embarrassed out of Chantel out here, embarrassing me to death. Can you imagine this shit? Seven ninety six a gallon in Canada. Uh, the dog's outside. Who's got the dog? Where's Sam? 
Oh, dear God. She's at the creek. Hold, please. You better answer, motherfucker. Oh, you're outside? <laughs> Yeah, she's at the creek. I was making sure you were outside, not out front. Yeah, I see you now. You're underneath your umbrella. I see her out my window. She's down by the creek. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't you let don't you let her escape? It'll be your yeah. fault, and I'll never let you live it down. And neither will all the people. You will forever be known, Sam, the dog killer. Okay. <laughs> she's going in the creek. Harlow, you better get in here. Okay, got to go. Don't let the dog die. Bye. Sorry about that. Just had to make sure that she was with the uh, dog. Okay. Sam's old. She's hard for her to keep up with the little Harlow in her old age. I don't know why. When the kids are outside with me, I don't care to let the dog run in our yard. We don't have a fenced-in yard. But my boys and my girl can run really fast to catch the dog. Now, if it's just me going out there, I, look, see, I have a brain. I know my big ass ain't getting out there moving fast enough to keep up with that little dog, right? So I get the harness and I get the leash and I walk her. But old dum dum over there, just let her run around free. And she goes from the front of the house all the way around. You could, you should have seen Sam sweating. She was sweating her ass off out there. Mm -hmm. Someone order accidentally got left at my door a couple months ago. They ordered $42 worth of snacks delivered from a 7-Eleven. <sighs> I think she does this every night. I swear, every night I think this is what Chantel does. This is where Chantel... I know that we want to believe that most of Chantel's money goes to Nodder, and I do think a lot of Chantel's money goes to Nodder, but I'm going to say the majority of it goes to, like, this right here. It's time to make up the couch for tonight. Sam's old. <laughs> you done, girl? Yeah, hopefully she's not listening. Hopefully she's too busy chasing a damn dog. <laughs> Wait, you called me 30 times? I'm just teasing her about being old. She's not old. It's ice cream. You're only as old as you <clears throat> feel, people. I've seen 70 year olds in better shape than me. Hell, I wish I was wish I had their body, their life. <laughs> I hate them pies too. Oh, we got a lot of people in here smoking the uh, smoking the reefer hitting up the uh, 7-Elevens, huh? That's what's going down. I remember those days. <laughs> Bitch, I remember my uncle had brought home these cheap This is back, I thank God. How old was I? I was working at that parking garage. I want to say I was probably 16. I had her on the unleash. I was being nice and letting her off. Well, and she ran away. Yeah, well, she just got her stick. Now she's doing She's going to be sold on the black market if you're not careful. Anyways, I was like 16. I used to smoke a lot when I was younger. Back, back, back in the day, right? My friend, my other fat friend was staying the night. And my uncle had brought home these cherry cheesecakes. Man, they were from Kingfish, dude. And we got high as fuck, dude. And I was like, man, you wouldn't go eat some of that cheesecake? And she was like, hell yeah, dude. We ate that whole fucking cheesecake that night, dude. Best. And it, dude, the food, for whatever reason, it don't taste the same, man. It tastes like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe now it'd be different for me. But I know back then, I would eat something when I was high, and it would be so much better. It just tastes so much different when you're high. At least for me, it did. Mm -hmm. Ate that whole fucking cheesecake. Got sick as a dog the next day. I promise you're not gonna leave me like crying lit. about. <laughs> oh yeah, Chantel right, Spooky Fupa. Crying about what Nader Alshami does and who he does it with. I can promise you, I'll be living my life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, best cheesecake I ever. Had it took me a long time to realize. I'll never forget is. it. And maybe Didi realizes too, and that's why she's friends with him. And that's why I'm friends with him. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not there with him now. Likes it does. I'm not man. in a relationship. <clears throat> you sweetie. never got the munchies while well, I'm already a fan. Right, so. What? 
Oh, my little girl is out there. I think she's going to catch her. Sam sends dogs to California. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Our Lady Chantel Petra Patin, thank you so much for a super chat. And yes, she does. What is both? No, Indy. I want to get her microchip, and I also want to get one of those um, those Apple things. You know, the little uh, oh, y'all know the you know where they find your device or whatever. They make them for like keychains and everything. I'm thinking about uh, getting one of those and getting a collar specifically for that too. Getting her microchip and then getting one of those Apple things to go on a collar, especially since we're letting her run around like that. Thanks. What? Oh. An air tag, yep. Yeah. I think I'm not kissing anyone, Queen of Kittens. I'm looking at my desk tomorrow. This is fudge, chocolate fudge. Holy shit, I didn't realize she got all this. When I turned it on this morning, I guess I skipped to the end. I thought she just got the um the Coke or whatever and the pizza and the hot dogs. So she's got all this other shit on top of that. Wow. I don't know, Jen. What's here, Vicky? Okay, now watch. This is the part that we got to pay, pay attention, guys. This really, really is important. Watch. For everybody asking about Chantel and how much she paid for this delivery and everything, pay attention. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to put it back on 1.5 for this. Actually, 1.25. We cannot miss this. Okay? Chantel, the scammer, Scammington. Hey, do you want a hot dog? Oh, my God. Gross. Look at this pizza. <laughs> Look, when you order, I've been to several gas stations. They all, like, all the ones who carry pizza, they all look the same. Gas station pizza, in my opinion, is basically all the same. You know what you're getting when you get gas station pizza, right? There's pretty much, I mean, maybe in some cases, some are better than the others, right? But it's basically the same, right? You know what you're getting. They're, the expectation should not be very high, okay? Let's just keep watching. Gas station food in general, I will say. Oh my God, gross. Look at this pizza. I mean, in my opinion, that looks like gas station pizza. That is what you would see when you would go into a gas station. It's probably been there all day. It's probably been there for a few hours, right? That's what gas station pizza is, okay? If you don't want gas station pizza, don't order fucking gas station pizza. Order from a pizza restaurant. Order from Papa John's, Little Caesars, whatever you got over there in Canada. There are other options. I'll continue. Ew. She smells like these hot dogs. Watch. Watch. Ew. Ew. She opened it up and she said, Ew. What's wrong with the hot dog? Okay, Elizabeth. What's wrong with the hot dog? I'm curious, what's the problem with the hot dog? Ew! Wait. Go ahead, Scammy. What are you getting ready to do, Scammy? Hot dogs look fine. The pizza, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like something I would expect from a pizza shop, but it looks exactly how I'd expect it to look if I order gas station fucking pizza. What's she doing? What do you got your phone for there, Scammy? What, what are you doing with your phone, Scammy? Scam tell. Well, oh, what are you doing? Are you about to take a picture? Why are you getting ready to take a picture? What's going on here? What are we doing? What's that? What is she doing? She's taking a picture of the pizza. Look at this. Look at this woman. How much money has she spent on takeout food 
And now what she's going to do, after having a worker go in, pick up this order for her, deliver it to her at whatever time this was, she's going to submit for a refund because she thinks it's disgusting. Okay, fair enough. The pizza's gross. Get your money back, girl, right? We're on the same page here? So if you're going to send your food back because it's disgusting, what are you going to do with your food? I know if I ordered food and if I was going to take a picture of it because I wanted a refund because I wasn't going to eat it, I would throw that food where? In the trash can. So I'm going to assume right now that Chantel is definitely going to throw this food in the trash can, right? Let's continue. Get your picture, girl. Yeah, definitely get a picture of those hot dogs too there, Chantel. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Should I taste test it? Or should I just complain right away? Wow. This, out of all the shit that Chantel does, this really fucking triggers me. Across the board. Because this is going to go, who do you think is going to be responsible for this? Do you think it's going to be Uber Eats? You think Uber Eats is going to eat that cost? Do you think the restaurant's going to eat that cost? Do you think the driver is still going to be able to get their uh, pay for all this? At the end of the day, it really doesn't fucking matter. This is, not only is Chantel a fucking glutton, she's a fucking scammer. She's taking pictures of it. She's going to submit and complain on the food to get it for free. And she's going to eat the fucking food. Mrs. Makes, I make $10,000, $15 a month. This is so disgusting, Chantel. <laughs> and the thing is, they won't kick her off the app. I know y'all keep saying they're going to kick her off. They probably won't because she does order so much. Like, she doesn't complain on every meal. She probably does. She might even possibly do one meal a day. But I think they'll keep her on for the money that she does spend. <sighs> I took a pick. Okay, let me try a bite of this one. There's nothing wrong with those hot dogs. Nothing. She is a thief. See? Now no, she's gonna the eat pizza. the pizza. Yeah. Look. Both is pretty good. She's already taken a picture of the product, my product though. I don't feel like talking on the phone right now, as Jam. <laughs> um, there's 12 minutes left of this stream. She gets off. She gives enough time to get on here and say her goodbyes for the rest of the night. And she gets off and she submits her complaint to get her money refunded. Look at her. She's putting like ketchup bitch, on the hot dogs. Call me tomorrow. S Jam, get a fucking life, you freak. I hate. I hate it. Ask anybody. Anybody who calls me, I never answer it. I don't feel like answering. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to bed soon. I got- they gave me two relish, I'm not even kidding. No, I didn't get refunded. Dude, I don't know. I just have a very, very <laughs> severe problem with somebody complaining about food like this and they continue to order from there, right? You continue to do orders like this and order the same shit over and over. It's not the first time Chantel has got gas station pizza or hot dogs or anything else. This is just like when she went to two different Tim Hortons and then trashed her coffee. Absolutely, 100%. I'm not going to report it. Bullshit. Bullshit. If you weren't going to report it, you would have never took the fucking picture. People in her chat are telling her to complain. Nomad, complain. Aly Alyssa El Shami, complain now. Degenerates, degenerates, degenerates. You sent me over 1K. Was that much? No, I really? Oh my god, S Jam. Ex 
exactly our lady. Mm. And she's eating it all. Of course, I'm. Of moldy? No. As long as I don't die. <laughs> That's right. Double fisting. Pizza and hot dog. Time. Look at this shit. Oh, that's jam. You love me? You're so sweet. <laughs> Miss Tien. I will answer you. I won't call you. We will talk soon. We're in bed down? Will you guys watch me? I'm not gonna be bed down. <laughs> Dude, she's got a fucking hot dog in one hand and a piece of pizza in the next hand. Tell me how she's not as big as Amber. It, make it make sense to me. S Jam said he sent her $1,200 in a year. Looks that's stupid S Jam's fault. Moron. Not gonna be bed down. <laughs> Look at that. Pizza in one hand and a hot dog in the other. Make it make sense, dude. Did you see how many hot dogs that she got? I think she got like four of them. Alright, that's Cam. The complaint if you give me money because I'm so gross, but they can have a tree lady being like. I can use the money! I'm better! Why do people call me corn? <laughs> she moves around more than Amber. I don't think she moves around enough to burn the kind of calories that she's taking in. I'd like to know. Uh, she has to be severely sick, and that's why she's not getting corn? fat. Fat, like severely fat. Was there a fight tonight, HRH? They are big hot dogs. And there's Rusty. Rusty? There's a few Beezers who just... <laughs> Jason. Is that too No drama llama. This meal should be eaten at the fucking Colibri Hotel. Pizza made out of rubber. Oh. I wouldn't eat that pizza. I'd probably eat the hot dog. Court! Court! <laughs> <laughs> she only likes haters. No, I love you, Jam! I love you, Jam! No, I don't get heartburn ever. Okay, here we go. Gross. You're pretty good. <laughs> Our lady. Good night, Faith. Chantel, you will always be remembered as a taker. Always. <clears throat> I'm like literally not able to eat that. And I honestly, it's very rare that I'll make a statement like this, but you are the biggest waste of fucking oxygen, Chantel. That I've ever seen, as far as the YouTube persona online goes, you're one of them easily. You literally just just are alive to take up space. <clears throat> consume. Excuse consume, me, Layla. Consume. Stop insulting consume. people. You're so fucking nasty. That's all Chantel does. She's a consumer. It's gross. Yeah, very good. Never giving back to society, nothing. Just a fucking consumer. Too many, Rachel. Well, dog, maybe. No. I don't need to stretch. 
<laughs> of course she just tossed it on the floor. <laughs> with everything else. How? Okay. How? Really? Yeah, it's like a dress, Monica. Thank you. She got two deliveries in this live stream. Two. She's or wait, no, it was three, including the wine. Mm. Is that your mm -mm. Oh, Shannon's not awesome. Chantel's credit score. True she actual. is everything the Bible warns you about. That's kind of true, yeah. List off, agreed. <laughs> I don't know. Avoid you know what? I feel like shoehorn. Here's the thing. I feel like people are scared to say it because, I mean, nobody wants to be the one that's, that says it, but there's there's just some people that are just completely fucking wasteless. And it's just what it is, man. It's just the truth of the matter, and there's a lot of them out there. Stop it! Shut up, kids. Who am I blocking? But Chantel's gonna be the type to... I mean, I hate to say it, but it's very possible that Chantel takes somebody else out before she takes herself out. She's gonna end up having a big blowout with Nodder, get totally fucking trashed, and get behind the wheel of the car, and we gotta hope for the fucking best, dude. <laughs> Gross. All right. <sighs> no creek. Hey, Lane Dugan, welcome to Rainport Beaches Recipes. Uh, thank you to all who joined. Stanley. <laughs> Disgusting. Rip your phone, users. <clears throat> okay, I love you guys. I'm so tired. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, go to sleep. Go fucking go be in a carb coma, Chantel, after all that bullshit. God bless America, man. Ugh. It's not so much, yeah, her pigging out is really hard to watch, but the part that gets me, it's not the pigging out, you know? Yeah, that's gross. It's disgusting. She's a fucking consumer. But when she sits there and takes pictures of that food so she can report it, as like it was bad food or whatever that's what fucking sets me off dude i can deal with chantelle being a pig she always has been a pig it's that shit that really really makes me fucking mad man she had to log off to eat the rest of it not only did she have to log off to eat the rest of it she had to log off to file the complaint you probably have a, a window a time frame i'm gonna assume before you can't um submit a complaint anymore and that's exactly why she got off so she could do that I think she's going to snap and try to run Dee Dee down with her car. There's no telling how the story's going to end. And let's just hope that there's not any um, victims that fall into the uh, foodie beauty bullshit. Can't imagine eating that much and then trying to sleep. Katie, no shit, dude. No shit. You like that fat apples, foodie boozy? Foodie boozy up in the house. I'm pretty sure she ordered a case of wine why i don't know anyways it is friday people enjoy your weekend you might be uh seeing me later today maybe tomorrow i don't know i'm gonna take a look at that um live stream if it's worth reviewing i will if it's not why give the degenerates the clout that they so much want right i know sam will be live later be watching and yeah if anything i will see you guys monday have a good weekend be safe and have fun bye guys